Sultan and Sarah of Intertwined Studios. Welcome to Easy Does It. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. I really appreciate you both um, for making the time to join us here today. Um, to be honest with you, just a little bit background for yourself and the listeners out here. What's so fascinating about you both as Easy Does It Easy Does It's guests is that one, you're the first couple. Oh yeah. That we invited in the show. <laughs> so pretty exciting. And two, both of you were not in my original list of 50 names. Oh. So when I first started this podcast, I listed down 50 names who I would like imagine how my conversation would be like, what I'm curious about, like if I were to spend time with somebody for like two hours. One time I did a Q, not a Q&A lah, macam I was asking, oh, what like tag like podcast um accounts, right? From my listeners and they, mm-hmm. some of them tagged you. Intertwined yeah. Studios. Thank you, whoever that was. Yeah, shout, yeah, shout out to whoever to that person. was. Yeah. And then ever since then, I've just started to follow your journey. And then I think you guys took a break from posting videos until it was two videos ago that caught my attention of how you both met, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So today, <laughs> I would like to talk about the content that you put out and also get to know you both individually and as a husband and wife um, couple. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Sure. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. 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 yeah how good. how are you, how are you feeling today though? <laughs> feeling good. First of all, thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. yeah, this, yeah. Feeling I'm, good. <laughs> yeah. It's just the setting. This is really like much formal, but it's not formal. It's not formal. It's not all. formal, yeah. but you know, with hold this mic, it just gives a different <laughs> vibe. Yeah, and the cameras are in your face. Yeah. Yeah. So try to ignore them. Oh, okay. Yeah, and just focus on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I know it can be intimidating. Plan. We can start with um both each of you sharing your background mm-hmm. um and then leading up to how you both met i know you explained it in your previous video so you can just share with us briefly so that at least those who want to know more about this story can go on to their youtube channel intertwined studios mm-hmm. they've posted like i think the latest one was the 13th episode yes yeah um so it's pretty interesting but for our listeners just a bit of background share us your story yeah, yeah. you want to go first i wanted to say you should go first you can go first okay <laughs> Okay, bah. Cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So, so, salam alaikum and hi. I'm I'm Sarah. Uh, I'm currently working in the oil and gas industry. Okay. I'm also the secretary general for Persatuan Kemajuan Insan. So, short form is Persatuan Kesan. Okay. It's an, a youth leadership NGO, and mm. that's where we also met. Although we've met way before, but that's where we kind of managed to you know get together lah. Yeah. Um. I also mentor youth, female youth, from our Kasan program, which we call Catalyst Mentoring Program. Mm. And it's the sleeping talent that I have, but I'm also a spoken poet. Oh. Yeah, the one that I'm, um, yeah, like I did, I used to perform spoken poetry, mm. uh, and but it's still, it's sleeping right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> More like hibernate. And, hibernate. And, and of course, I'm obviously the wife. Or a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if nobody caught that. <laughs> I'm the wife. Yeah. All right. Should I start? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Fauzan. Okay. I'm the husband. Uh, so I used to do marketing mm-hmm. uh, in creative industry. Lah. Yeah. Uh, first freelancing and then after that going in-house in several companies mm-hmm. in various industries. Yeah. And now, just this year, I've converted back to the engineering world. So, okay. assistant engineer, some way in Tutong. Yeah. Currently, yeah. So, I'm also a rapper and also part of the branding team for Persatuan Kesan. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, you're both of you have some sort of like creative uh, DNA in, in you. You're like a poet and like a writer, you're also like a marketer. And like yeah. a rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sarah and I were just talking before this. Um, I've seen you on stage. You've seen me on stage? I've seen you on stage oh, quite okay. a while before. Zim, what's your name? Sorry, music video RTB? Brunei Music oh. Video. Brunei, Brunei Music, music Video. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, because I th- Adam Chong directed uh, your music? Yeah, the music video, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I've seen... And then you guys won. And then you performed... Yeah, so that's what that's what, that's where I first saw you. But I didn't uh, know like who you were. I didn't I I didn't remember like much when I saw you on like, Intertwined Studios. I'm like, Can I much familiar? Yeah. I and then I think very recently, Borta, I'm like, oh wait, he's the guy that I saw on stage. Oh, cool. Yeah. And yeah. I remember I was there with a friend. I remember telling her, like, oh, I actually like your voice and like the song in overall, like I enjoyed it too. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, so are you still singing or no? Um, there's some project luckily upcoming, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's taking okay. a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been like that, though. Mm, interesting. <laughs> with Imposter so, syndrome. With so many different hats, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the video, the the work. Yeah. The I'm not sure what I want to be, to be honest. But I think that makes that keeps your life very interesting. That's true. You don't know today you wake up, you feel like you want to do what. Yeah. you know and you just do it yeah. yeah and to have a partner by your side to like go through these experiences must be pretty exciting yeah, yeah. imagine Bella. the face for me like <laughs> suddenly he's a rapper and then the next thing you know he's a like you know filmmaker the next thing you know he's a marketeer yeah that's pretty cool how old are you both now you are old enough old enough um 30 30 you yeah. say it here? That's, yeah, 30. That's i'm 30 yeah, I'm you don't 30. look 30, 30. Huh? You don't look 30. I look 40. Because yeah. only no, I'm saying that only because I'm four years older than you. Oh, okay. So I'm comparing your looks to mine. Oh, <laughs> I okay. look, I feel like I look my age, but you don't look your age. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What about sure you? That's a good thing, Plang. But... It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we're we're the same age. Okay. Yeah. You both to me, you both look like you're in your either early to mid twenties. Mm. Wow. Yeah. That's so can okay. I get the Thank you. people Thank think you. I'm a student. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one, one <laughs> so now tell me before I want to get started into um your marriage how did you first came to be because I saw one of the earliest videos I saw of you both were um of you both sharing how you met with each mm. other mm. and sort of the decision making and the things that happened in between when you decided when you met and how you decided to get married so briefly share with me the milestones that led up to you both eventually getting hitched. Okay. Yeah. So it can start from how you met and then the things that happened. Yeah. 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 So it's going, <laughs> going first. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. So honestly, we met way back in UK. So we were both scholar students, different scholarship. Mm. Uh, but he was uh, one year my senior in UK. Mm -hmm. um, he was in Liverpool. I was in Sheffield. Oh. So... Um, at that time, as you know, Bruneians, we tend to gather and usually we attend macam camp, what you call Kem Hijra or Kem Ibadah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's like those two yeah. names. Mm. Uh, and usually students gather in Brunei Hall. Um, at the same time, so typically most of that, when I first, first year, I was a participant. Second year, I was an AJK and he was also AJK lah. Yeah. He's always the videographer, photographer for those events. Okay. And at one time, I was also the PIC, the person in charge uh, yeah. from the female side to organize the camp. And mm. he was also... So we met in or organizing those events. Yeah. And at the same time, he also regularly comes to Sheffield pasal gengnya, kawannya banyak di sana. Ah. Yeah, but at that time, seriously, ambong yo. Really? Ambong, macam, yeah, in the liat bini-bini. Well, well bini -bini. not really, but to be honest, I never realized she was there. Uh, oh, macam, okay, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're either ambong or you just never realized she was so, there. So, a senior of mine in Sheffield ato is one of his school friends. Uh -huh. uh, sekali, when he visited his friend who shares the same house with ato, uh, I was, you know, I tend to visit my senior to. Okay. So that's where, you know, when you biked with your friends, okay. I you was at our cross path. Lah. Cross path okay. But we never knew each other like, okay, cuma tu saja. Yeah. What was your first, at that time you still didn't notice her? We just knew each other as AJK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. did you have any sort of impression towards one another at that time? No. Or much I'm just... Pass and go. Yeah. But I knew me. him even way back in UK. He already rapped. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He he rapped and then yeah. video nya on YouTube sudah. Okay. So some of my uh, male peers, mm. durang share around the video. Sekali ku dengar lah, cakap eh, apa ni? Siapa ni? Yeah. Sekali cakap oh this guy. Oh. Uh, and then oh, okay. I knew he rapped. Yeah. yeah. What was your impression of him when you saw that <laughs> video? Yeah, like cool. You know, this guy raps. Mm. So I'm just. Uh, I mentioned it before. It's kind of like, oh, Maju Brunei. Ah. Like, interesting to find someone who raps. Mm. And he rapped like, very Islamic. Lah, masa tu. Yeah. I think that's what drew me to like enjoy your content as well. Because uh, to your music masa on stage. Ato, because it has something to do with like, it's called apa Leka. Ka? Uh, leka, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that's my part. You want to add? Karang Mita Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, so, Jana. Okay, so 
I graduated kan dah mm. and uh, in Brunei I started to volunteer with mm. Kesan I think that was 2014 14? yeah I think she wasn't there yet and then she joined Kesan as well yeah so I guess that's where we kind of met and had more interactions okay. yeah mm. be mostly macam kerja tu lah working yeah you also saw my that was showdown video in my final year oh yeah that's true so I also I thought, yeah, saw her spoken poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. She did um, fights that were showdown, right? Mm. In Manchester. Manchester, yeah. There was a competition. Mm. Her and her friend, T. Mira. Mm. Yeah. And they performed. And did you guys win? <laughs> we, I forgot, did we win? I think we did. Sekali salah. I think we did. Oh my God. <laughs> dapat, yeah. dapat duit lah, Joy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh. okay, okay, pretty cool. Spoken poet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, did you have any impression of her back then yet? Like, much it was just, or it was just, oh, it's just another person. Like, you didn't, you don't seem to me like the person who actually notices people in general. Is that you? Actually, yeah. I observe people when they talk. But okay. Yeah. For her, I wasn't looking for someone at that time. So, much yeah. she's. It's Another, just just the one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, when was your first interaction? Like what sort of interaction? Like finally talking and acknowledging each other's presence. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because we had to... I was also in team media when I first started. Now I'm yeah. the secretary general. But yeah. when I first ca- came in... Uh, I was placed in the media team as well. Okay. So that's he was the head of media at that time. It's not okay. called branding. Mm. Yeah. So I was one of the team mm. and that's where kami buat macam you know like the posters where the leadership quotes oh. and we and we took turns the people in the media team yeah. and I think I don't know if it was Canva 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 Canva, no, Canva wasn't here yet I think wait what did I we use that. I don't oh wait what year is this so. sorry we need to 2016 2016 okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. fun fact though um, I still have her number name as Sarah Media oh. until <laughs> 5 tahun sudah anda pernah bertukar oh my god my name is Sarah um, Media oh, to husbands out though. there do not do that <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of cool because my yeah, job, okay, I, like I remember okay she used to be yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. technically working under your team kanto. yeah because yeah. yeah, you were the head of media mm. yeah, okay do you remember what was the earliest interactions were and like what you guys thought of each other back then like oh yeah ni yang kulit ala YouTube ni dulu like I have to work with him now like what kind of thoughts did you have when you first saw him and like was instructed to work with him mm-hmm. we can start with you first Sarah Impression. I've already worked with him already, young educator. But yeah. at that time, I kind of like. Ish, this but there was not. Yeah, you okay. thought he was ambong, right? Yeah. And like there was not many interactions. But this time, when you finally had to interact with him. Yeah, I found him like you know this nerdy guy. Okay. <laughs> not not wrong. Not wrong. Yeah. Oh, this nerdy guy, and maybe I guess. Um, the interaction between female and male. Payah kalila. I didn't know the way he worked, kan? Yeah. So. There are certain things, like when we try to ask from each other, even within the team, and I don't know what you know. It's an NGO, right? It's yeah, a g- yeah. volunteering thing. True. Sekali, you mean when asking questions in a WhatsApp? Yeah, in okay. a WhatsApp, in yeah. a WhatsApp group. Mm. Sekali, okay, so, kind of the answer or the answer or the answer is not something you expect. Uh, so I think that's lah. But after a while, because we had a lot of face-to-face meetings, jo, and this is with ramai orang. Yeah. So I think that's where we get to open up more as a whole yeah. and we get to interact and that there was one time he he was asked from the president of Kesan Ideal at that time to conduct a media editing poster punya, punya, workshop? punya workshop, workshop to yeah. the AJKs uh, and and he was at the last Kelly, remember you, you you were going around you gave us a task to edit a uh, gambar uh, using an application. I don't know if it was Canva or not. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think it is Canva. It's blog. Canva, yeah, kan? I think it's Canva. Sekali, yeah, he was going around and he looked at mine like, oh, okay, that's nice. That's what I remember. Yeah. I remember oh. doing that. But I, it's just, uh, no, after the Ambong phase, yang when I work in Kasan, I think that's just, it's an okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay impression. Oh, wow. Yeah. Actually, we brought something for you, Plang, Yeah. 
Do huh? you want to get it? Yeah, we were supposed to do it earlier. <laughs> what do you That's mean? Where? No, it's nothing. It's over there. Can, no, let me get it. Oh. Can I get it? Yeah. What? Yeah, you can give it. Okay. Oh my god, wait, stop. I'm gonna cry. Show it, wait, show it, show on, it. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm stressed. Show it to them as what well. They're part that? of the team. They're part of the team. Oh, yeah, you you should be here. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys! I feel good. Thank you so much. Wait. Yeah, so we didn't know. We were like, Oh my god, there's two. Wait, can you see? Paris, can you see? Wow, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Guys. It's okay, we can like. Thank you. Yeah, the so kakinya lagi. Kakinya, kakinya. Oh my god, guys, this means so much to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're glad you you really like it. <laughs> I love it. I'm obsessed oh, okay. with it. Because Fuad pernah begitu like I should have something. Oh. Yeah, okay. and you guys just okay, made his Brandy. wish come true. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the interview. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really, really You're welcome. appreciate welcome. it on behalf of the team. We really appreciate it. You guys are the sweetest. Thank you, thank guest. you. <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to my question today. So much um you guys were working under Kasan, right? Mm. Is Kasan? Kasan, yes. yes. And then um, the first instruction you had was because you had to work under the media team, mm -hmm. under Fauzan, who was the head of the media team. Mm -hmm. And then you were saying that um, he was doing like a design workshop, workshop yeah. kind of thing and he was supervising your work and he was like, oh, okay. At that time when you saw her work and stuff, I know you probably saw other people's work for that. Yeah. Again, still, like, there was no, like, sort of, like, this is still, much like, um, No feelings, I don't think so. Yeah, uh, not feelings, but, like, was there any sort of relationship, as in, like, friendship ka, pa ka, at that time, or still strangers at this point? What or, like, workmates? Workmates, I'd say. Still yeah, workmates. Yeah. Were, were you work yang kata atu, kan? Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Now you remember. Yeah. He remembers. Oh. I remember the design. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it was you remember? Oh, design. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What, how, why but you... the, no, I but just... at that time, much um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, not really lah. Much um, masih lagi just workmates. Yeah, at yeah, that yeah. time, yeah. How did it start? Yeah. As in the relationship. I think this is more like my part, la. Okay. Go first. Um, so I think back in two thousand and eighteen, I started yeah. to think. No, 2018 is when we got married. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 2017. <laughs> 2017. Oh, okay. 2017. I was thinking, okay, maybe I should like look for someone. Okay. Or should get married lah mm. at that time. What? I was like 24, 20, 23, 24. Yeah. What was the reasoning behind that thought? Yeah. I had this idea of getting married at 25. Okay, so so at that time, macam okay, I think it's time to look for someone. Yeah, is this because um you observe other people getting married at twenty five or apaka like what were the driving force that made you feel like when you set that age limit to get married? I think at that time because Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam got married at twenty five. Really? Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, I'm not sure of how true that is. <laughs> Need to check lagi. Tapi nya, I think that was one of the reason for me to set it at 25. Yeah. Not necessarily kawin 25 lang. Tapi okay. at that time, someone. macam 25 seems like a good age to be married at for me at that time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then? Yeah, sekali nya. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, bisa ya? <laughs> Start to look, look around. Um, and then after having some considerations apa, for some how for some reason mm. she popped up in my head okay which is a bit funny because at this point you were still workmates yeah and before she popped up in your head there was nothing more than that yeah probably yeah wow i was like kind of yeah yeah what's so interesting okay. about this person that i'm considering her yeah to be my future spouse yeah so, if you don't mind sharing, how many candidates candidates, candidates. that she had to go out yeah, against? Yeah. <laughs> I think there were there were three, 
Okay. Three Were three. they all also workmates at that point, or some yes. of them are okay? Workmates. Mm. Tapi the the thing one of them uh, was taken sudah. Okay. <laughs> Why did you laugh? <laughs> okay. So yeah. So Sarah. I think one of the reasons why I was uh, had this attraction to her after mm-hmm. considering apa ni, who to be my spouse yeah. is she's someone who is out there because mm-hmm. she does uh, she speaks kan in front of people yeah. and she at that time not sure if you were doing mentoring yet not yet kan no yeah but she was apa ni, uh, she speaks in front mm-hmm. and she leads uh, people so I think that side of her Mana? Resonated with me, yeah. yeah okay. And also, she was she did spoken poetry again. Hmm. So I feel like, like mm, ngam aku I do rap. She does spoken poetry. Okay, like ngam. Hmm. So I feel that she would understand me. Yeah. Uh, as a person who wants to pursue music. Yeah. Uh, yeah and yeah, art yeah. in general. Yeah. Hmm. And then how did that conversation happen like hey i'm looking for a potential wifey yeah yeah, <laughs> like, yeah yeah i mean that's my own words how would how did you say it? <laughs> <laughs> uh pretty direct pula ha cuma na oh do you i mean not direct to me but yeah, yeah. Uh, he consulted you consulted yeah. someone okay. so i went through a third person lah okay. and for that person to ask her if she's uh available and i gave my details lah like this is, this is what i want to do apa cuma tu and then if she would be interested yeah. Then, uh, yeah so she was this person he or she <laughs> is a, the cupid basically or the middle person the lah. middle person lah middle not person. cupid lah yeah oh. Yeah. So basically through a married couple lah. Mm-hmm. So he went through the husband, and yeah. the husband told the wife, and the wife yang the one. Oh my god! So there's like <laughs> talk to me. Yeah, Chinese yeah. whispers. But I mean, like yeah, just to okay. And then so now let's revert to you. How did that conversation happen? Um, yeah. In what capacity did you guys know this couple? If you are okay with sharing lah. Trusted, uh, yeah. yeah, very, very trusted. Okay, you're like yeah. a close friend, yeah. Like. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, even like some some people we consulted are much um our president in Kasan, oh. Ideal and Kaiza at oh. the time. Mm. Yeah, so that they were also we consulted them as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. so right. it's basically people around our circle. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then how yeah. did how did that conversation? Yeah, happen? so a call came. I was at work. Mm. Scarcely a call came. It was like. Oh hey, there's this guy who's interested in you. Sekali aku macam, oh okay, siapa? And he's like, Fauzan. Macam, I think, I I don't know, at, at that time, it was lunchtime kah, I forgot when mm. it was. Sekali, I'm like, really? Sekali macam habislah sedang, okay. And then katanya, think about it kan. Sekali, lepas tu aku kerajaan sini, aku macam, bandar kah? Macam, it looks yeah, like a scam. Yeah, because you, you know him <laughs> at this point. <laughs> yeah, you, not only you, you've seen him on YouTube back mm. then, and then like, he, you guys worked, you got, you had to work under him for Kasan. Yeah. And then, I, yeah, tha, I never expected he would go for me. I mean, true to what he said, he had several other considerations kan. Yeah. And, and for me, aku macam, I don't think someone like Fauzan would go for me, mm. for someone like me lah, yeah. with, me knowing how I'm not so much, I'm not pretty in a societal standard punya, yeah. punya. She, he said, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. No, as in like, no, no, no. Yeah, he, I was he just... also said it in our oh, video. Okay. He was like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So. That ita... wasn't me saying yeah in agreement. <laughs> I was just, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, patah lah, like, um, I, I thought about it. Mm. Sekali, um, the, the only the call to when cakap tanya do you want to further know this guy or not because it's not a yes suddenly bah kawin ta yeah, yeah, but yeah. yes uh, let's get to know each other further mm. yeah when you said you didn't expect someone like Fauzan mm. what do you mean like someone like Fauzan because at that time I think he's already someone out there um, he had like a presence sudah um, mm. I yeah, think uh, you were an author macam adalah you buat something but you you were I don't know if you block one also at that time but yeah yeah um, probably acted in a few yeah and videos. modeling something macam tu lah Fauzan yeah ada okay. he, he block one in ah, Danny Iskandar's okay. video okay. Um, model in some brands yeah okay. so so 
Where was what was my point? Um, As in, like, oh, I, uh, the question was when you said that you received that call and you're like you were thinking to yourself, like, "Indakan someone like Fauzan." Yeah. So I was just trying to understand when you say someone like Fauzan. To, I want to see how you saw him. Oh, oh yeah. To in be that, able to think that way. Yeah, in like, that light of macam, kira cha I put myself in a in a lower benchmark. So okay. much I don't think I in a satu in a looks punya standard mm-hmm. two maybe not the two maybe just looks color that was so that was mainly the concern mainly the concern okay yeah. okay mm. and then um how long did it take for you to get back to the person and said yes i wanna yeah for every single phase of photo i really had to do a lot of istikhara rabis jam ada satu ni and then the next step istikhara so at that point i also had to go to istikhara mm. um So I I forgot how long, but when after thinking much of Fauzan, banarka, and then I said, "Ba, why not?" Because I already knew how he worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a complete stranger. Mm, yeah, not a complete stranger. At that. this point, were you guys already at Instagram? Stuck at all? Adakan? Yeah, ada. Yeah, ada. were you guys following each other on Instagram? Oh. We only started following each other after kawin. Ah. Facebook pun one day after kami kawin baru tah added each other. Okay, Facebook. this is getting super interesting <laughs> to me now. Okay, and then continue. I'll get to it later. Yeah, social media wise. Um, but his Instagram was open, so I did stalk him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's a normal, and we need to normalize that. It's yes. fine. Yeah. I mean, whoever makes your social media open, yeah, you're allowing yourself to exactly. be stalked. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then so so I went through like what the content does he put out? Mm-hmm. Um, because I have my own criteria in the men I want. Yeah. Walapun I feel like looks, I'm not there for this person. Tapi I need to ensure that he doesn't put out content yang you know like um red flags for me. Mm-hmm. So oh, okay, this guy puts good content. I know he raps good lyrics. Yeah. Um. So for me, macam like, okay lah. Let's see where this goes. Did you remember having how long you had to wait to get her answer? No. <laughs> oh, you don't remember? Okay. No. Maybe, maybe one or two weeks, kali saja. Yeah. Ah, uh, and then yeah, in between, you didn't weeks. really like macam, you didn't really ponder upon it. You sort of just like let let it go. Uh, yeah, tapi macam ngam kaniya macam I did have uh, some considerations. Still, okay. Yeah. And I think at that time she wasn't the only one who was talking, you know? Okay. Uh, because she had a block. She had a block. Apa namanya tu? Ah? Apa? What blog? Apa namanya? Oh, yeah. Your blog. Ah, your blog. On blogspot. Ah, blog. Yeah, blog. Oh. Aku pun baru tahu. What's it called oh. again? <laughs> yeah. Kertasati. Oh yeah, Kertasati. So I was like just reading what she put out lah, jua. Like, okay, it's pretty cool. Macam, you guys okay. were stalking each other, guys. <laughs> I just knew this. You never told me. Yeah. Oh. All right. Secrets out. It's okay. This is why I love interviewing people. Yeah, they okay. reveal things that they never said to anyone before. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, like mm. the content until pun aku suka. I yeah. like the content that she puts out. So, mm. macam, okay. I I get attracted to things like that. I think. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. So, um, before I move on to the next question, prior to meeting each other, were you were you guys ever in a relationship before? Mm, sorry, can you say that? Again? Oh, Were you guys in a class. yeah prior to you guys getting together, uh, like um getting to know each other? At all, uh, did you ever have you ever been in a relationship before? Me myself. Um, yeah. you both lah. Should I go first? <laughs> um, yes, I think. Okay, yes. so you've had relationships before. Yes, back in form six. Ah, uh, okay. So, much like, anu lah sekolah lah, like not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not really. Doesn't really count. Yeah. 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 What about you? Official relationship, never. But some of like in high school, there was like those yang indo menjadi cuma tu sahaja. Also, not in your much like adolescent. Yeah. Just to my word, adolescent years. Yeah. So I can claim like he's my first boyfriend plus husband. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. In between, um, your much like high school, uh, relationship at all. And macam you guys knowing, getting to know each other, you've never spoken to anybody or like macam eh, yeah, never spoken to anybody and like macam trying to get to know each other in this in the way that you wanted to you wanted to get to know her. Nada. No, no. no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, in that phase and until after uni, kalle. Um, because I, kira I fully started covering the moment I stepped. Uh, the first day I stepped in UK, uh-huh. uh, but I started fully covering, and after that, uh, fully covering. Fully, fully, yeah, fully, covered fully, her fully covering. Yeah. Uh, fully. 
head to toe mm. covering sekali someone approached me i mean approached like texted if you know i wanted to get married yeah. but that didn't oh. proceed lah yeah oh. yeah any reason why because you were still studying or um so like i said my process itu sebenarnya involve istikara okay. uh, and yeah. um i knew this person jua tapi nya after istikara tu i indah you know, macam oh uh, indah lah wow. yeah like banar-banar India, yeah, yeah, yeah. really just feels. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like. Oh, uh, it was yeah. like okay, yeah, no. Yeah, like yeah. I respect you, yeah. but thank you next. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, what about you? Has anyone ever tried to approach you to like much? Um, do you know when someone's interested in you, or like are you oblivious? I think I'm oblivious, Kelly. I think, uh, I can recall some incidents. Mm-hmm. Kalau macam di sekolah. Yeah. Like back before six form lah. If uh-huh. I think again now, okay, I think that person was hitting on me. Now oh, that I think about it, yeah. <laughs> Dulu, back then I was like, yes, yeah, because you're kind of friends on. Alhamdulillah. Uh, yeah, but I think when I was around twenty one, twenty two, just a few years before I decided that I was ready to get married. Yeah, uh, someone approached me. And he was a middle person lah for someone uh-huh. that ah. that if I would be interested to get married, but yeah. at that time I wasn't ready yet, so okay. I was like, no, I don't even know who the person is. Ah, yeah. until now you don't know who the person is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He doesn't have to know. <laughs> <laughs> When the whole you trying to ask if she would be interested in getting to know you further, you're you're twenty five nisuda. Twenty. Four. Twenty seventeen minus no. Twenty twenty three coming into twenty four. Okay, just a few yeah. years until twenty five lah. Yeah. Uh, you were same age kan? Same yeah. age kamu ah? Uh, yeah, she's okay. like three months older than older him. Older than me. Yeah. Three four months older than me. Yeah. Okay. At that time, where were you in life, in terms of career and like, yeah, what were you doing at that time? Yeah. Me. Yeah. So I just started. Hey, wait. No, that no. I I already worked two years in my. In the company I work in, mm. and at that time I was also working offshore, ah. so it's like two weeks yeah. offshore and uh, two weeks on land. Yes, okay. Offshore, yeah. What about you? I was in Autoco. Yeah. So part of the production team, but I also had a business, a uh, Nerf renting business. Are you ah, familiar okay. with Nerf Blasters? Yes. Yes. So it's Very called familiar. Nerf Rack. Mm. It's still a thing now mm. the the business the but I'm not involved with it now lah yeah ah. but back then I was involved in those two things mainly okay yeah and then so now we can get back on track so after you heard back that she said yes what was uh, the next action you took I think it was for me to confirm you again <laughs> wait no no we met lagi yes. yes yes okay so after she said yes yeah Um. So we agreed to meet, but of course, there's a third person lah huh, with oh, us. Yeah, like a couple. Yeah. yeah. Is just it the to, same just people? To, yeah. yeah. Just to monitor us. Yeah. 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 Uh, sekiranya, so we had a conversation. It was kind of mostly serious, I think. Yeah, like uh, asking questions. Yeah, and those are that's the time where we ask. <laughs> Serious questions, lah. So much like interview, lah. So like, oh. ima- imagine I'm on this side and yeah. Rosan's on the other side. Scully. And then the couple were they mediating the conversation too, or they were, they just stayed silent while while you both chuck up? I think they were mediating. Yeah, they were way. mediating. But yeah. so, when it comes to asking question, we took the center stage, lah. Yeah, you guys directly uh talk to each other, lah. Yeah, like oh. payah lang to the same place, cam. Tanya kan ni, tanya kan. Oh, but no, 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 because just... like, macam I'm thinking, right? So I I want to understand. Um, the this whole like macam you had to have two people mm. there with you, mm. um, because you guys already knew each other at that point, kan? Mm. And then you guys worked together. What, whose decision was it to bring those two to at to to, mm. to mediate the com the the conversation? Okay, the first mine, that one would be mine. Um, uh, it was because, uh, macam actually when. Two people meet, mm. uh, like a guy and a, and a lady, and yeah, girl, women, lady. Uh, it's okay. You don't <laughs> have to be politically correct. <laughs> We get it. <laughs> yeah. So when these two are alone, um, kira syaitan is the third person. Okay. Yeah. So I believed in that, kan? Yeah. So if there wasn't 
another person to monitor us mm. so it's a bit dangerous lah mm. yeah for the heart okay think, yeah so basically the reason why i didn't have any sort of relationships after from sex up until is to because of this yeah yeah okay um this is very interesting to me because my sisters i have two younger sisters you just mentioned you know my younger sister yeah. they both go through a little bit Si- uh, similar experiences to you both but like i'm not close to them so i can't ask them directly yeah <laughs> so you, you yeah here. but so you both are my like <laughs> i'm going to ask you both all the questions i wanted to ask them <laughs> yeah but in a sense where macam uh my sister after me so my second ganto she was set up by a family member mm. this guy who is now my brother in law um he is he used to be stationed ara um russia because he works for mfa mm. so they only literally before they got married they only met twice and then drunk wow. mm. yeah and to me at that time i i never understood that concept mm-hmm. you know because um for me i think socially i even though like i'm a muslim apa semua mm. practicing muslim work in progress um but in terms of like macam relationships i'm pretty liberal mm-hmm. but i do like macam my 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 faith is in islam lah mm-hmm. obviously it's just that maybe you know the way my both my sisters they were raised decent pulang i don't know maybe i'm just <laughs> i'm just the black sheep of the family because my mom's so they're all conservative which is why i feel like i'm the black sheep of the family because mm-hmm. i don't live a similar lifestyle to them which is why like i really like i'm so excited to have this conversation with you mm-hmm. so that i can understand the whole thought process between that mm-hmm. so much i'm back to my sister yeah this, they only got they only got to meet twice and at the point i don't think they ever met just them both mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i got to meet with him in a family setting i think the second time during jumpa and then after that, he went left to russia balik oh. kawin terus and i'm like what if she married a psychopath <laughs> like i don't understand <laughs> why like this is not okay you know like and it was a genuine concern it's not so much that i don't agree in the way like much um in terms of how agama deals with it mm. it's just for me it's like Obviously she's my sister and I'm protective of her. Mm. Like we don't know who this person that she's marrying into. Do khali bjumpa at point like meeting some other online. Obviously they can put on a show, right? Yeah. But who they are as a person truly, how can we truly know? Mm. So that was my concern back then. Mm. But spoiler alert, they've got two beautiful kids, the greatest <laughs> gifts in the world and they're happily married. So much like that sort of changed my perception on arranged marriage mm. because mm. that's considered arranged marriage kan mm. And then my younger sister sort of had a similar experience to you where they met at a NGO. So mm. dorang ada we care. I don't know if you know we care. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I know very little about we care but I do know that macam dorang pun kena set up by dorang punya kawan. Mm. So like I was like again, like macam kena set up, set up ni tu aku paham eh. Because aku biasa like macam the normal like oh like if I'm interested in someone, I ask them out, I take them out for dinner, mm-hmm. get to know them, just the two of us. Yeah. Nado orang tangah wah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's just me speaking like openly lah. Mm-hmm. And which is why like for me, I'm so familiar with that world, but I'm not familiar with this world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So like macam I do hope whatever questions I may ask, it's out of genuine curiosity yeah. and not like macam. Yeah, because I don't understand this world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, easy. Yeah. Back then, much up until me going to uni, that was my perception as well. Yeah. Much up, aku menunggu macam kena, you know, someone goes to me like couple. Yeah. That yeah. was me. Yeah, yeah. Sekali, but yet tah because no one came. That's why I also have a low self esteem, right? Macam bawa kena talawa aku ni, blah 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 blah. And then after uni, uh, that's when I start seeing much up. Uh, I. I was exposed to couples marrying in this met um in this method, like oh, someone arranged them, or maybe they they're working in an area. Scally, they actually like each other, but they went through a proper yeah yeah a proper a third pers- yeah, yeah a third person. So I'm like oh wow, this exists. And mm. after after like you know fully like learning uh, about myself, um the way the the way of life, the dean. Scally, I'm like oh, I would love to follow this path yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah. So that's where it changed my perspective as well. But before this, I think. Just the way we are, you know, watching all the shows we we're you know we're exposed to. Mm. Our perception to to the normal relationship is true. 
to true that. that. True that. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah, I think because it's also a norm in Brunei mm. yeah. culturally. People nowadays or even our parents when time can people yeah. go out and date mm. Mm. yeah but if you look at outside of brunei there are certain countries where their culture is more China? how do they say it like they go to their parents for example first yeah. yes 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 parents to yeah. 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 yeah now i remember yeah. something when you said like going to parents yeah i think one person tried to she he was interested in my sister and actually came to our house wow. to yeah and i was like is he okay <laughs> like why is he talking to my mom yeah because <laughs> yeah, I, i didn't understand <laughs> it yeah i was like yeah who is this i was like that's a no <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but then again now as i grow older i understand like, like you said like some people choose this path and honestly it takes balls Yeah. To ask someone through their parents directly, yeah. and it's so respectful too. Yeah. So you imagine, know? Nanti, if you have anak bini bini, so would you like your daughter to be, you know, someone random you don't know, like bah, bring this guy, uh, <laughs> bring your daughter out, or yeah. would you prefer, macam this guy comes like, uncle, you know, I want to yeah. bring you. So you see this guy, mm-hmm. and you can trust this guy. Yeah. So you're like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. You can see, can for so, sure, yeah. it makes so much sense that way, and obviously, like. I would have a lot of respect, yeah. If someone came up to me and asked if they could, but does it happen just to date a daughter, or does it happen? Do a girl approach the parents to? Uh, no, kan? It's usually the guy yang. For example, she wouldn't approach mm. your parents, right? Uh, How does that work? Outside. Outside. I mean, there's like always the guy normally. Yeah. The basically any third party, it can be the parents. If you really are much like, um, close with your parents, ask your parents to do so. Can lagi bisay. Um, oh. if if you trust your friend who's much like, um already credible and married for like 10 years apa, mm. you can ask them kan, because because mm. you really trust them. So yeah, there's so yeah. many ways it can work. Yeah. But kenapa inda someone single pasal In the end, this person yang single might end up with the other person. You never know, uh, kan? Uh, kan? Oh, that's Which, the for reasoning. For me, it's better if it's a married couple as okay. opposed to someone single because tahu tahu oh. terbitre. Then macam aku tu pelang sama, you know. You never know. Yeah, okay, it could okay, happen. Okay. It could happen. So, wait, where was I? <laughs> no, no, that, that was it. Like how, like to macam a middle person like trying to set, mm. yeah, to help. But are you both? Um, Your family background are are you both raised in a conservative family like is that how you have that sort of like mindset and like upbringing to have that within you For me did you mm. my siblings date and they, they got married ah, yeah, so yeah. yeah How about you I'd say my family it's a bit religious I'd okay. say uh but mm, Chana, how do I say it? You're the oldest Jua anyway. Yeah, I'm the oldest pula. Ah. Yeah, tapi I don't think my sibling are like me pula. Oh, so you're <laughs> okay, okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's preference kan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay, just before because I keep saying the word conservative. Lurus kan tu conservative and religious are they the same? Okay, apa maksudnya dulu? Conservative. Oh. Can, can, can can someone please help fact check me? <laughs> conservative in my I, in my head religious pula. Like traditional values. Alba, alba. Lurus kan? And what is this traditional values? <laughs> in terms of country. country, not religion. In when I say, when I say, Country and religion. Country and religion. Okay, 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 so Lursla, okay. because I don't find that word any. It's not a good or a bad word. It's a definite. It's a term mm. for me. But I, I think from now on I'll just say religious lah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So wow. Okay, that was like a whole background, <laughs> like check. <laughs> okay. Now, so after that, so you guys, all four of you together sitting. Do you remember what questions you asked each other? Yeah, I remember I asked you what your vision and mission in life is. Wow. Just straight away. Yeah, yeah, straight yeah. Away. Okay, okay. Important okay. question. Yeah, that's like the first question I want to know. What's your vision in life? Because, um, yeah, kalau yeah, this guy doesn't have a vision, which I'm, how is this person going to lead me? Can be yeah. firm because a guy, mm. the moment you know you want to get married, you're supposed to be firm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he might not, he might not know at the end, like he says, even now he doesn't still know. Tapi the end vision atu should still be succinct like it's not bukan duniawi saja tapi akhirat yes, yeah. so yeah so in this life and the afterlife yeah, yeah, okay afterlife. what did i answer yeah, yeah were you nervous when she asked you all these questions you know like 
I've been not really talking to women for like the past how many years. <laughs> and then Toto, this is a girl who's asking you all these questions. <laughs> so much of, um, yeah, of course I was uh, nervous. Like, it was my first time actually having that sort of conversation. Selama ni meeting, Mas Yeah, yeah. Mm. So yeah, what did I answer? I honestly don't remember. Yeah. Tapi, I mean, it must have been good enough to pass yeah. my screen did check. You, did you, before that meeting, did you each spoke to or consult any of your family members? Or who did you talk to first when when you received like, oh my God, si Fauzan, tanya orang atau like if aku kan mau get to know him. Or you macam, oh, I just asked that person to ask Sarah like if she would be interested. Is there anyone else outside those two who you trusted? At that point in time, at that phase before we first met to mm. ask the vision question, yeah, ato, yeah. I didn't tell anyone. Wow, you kept it to yourself. Yeah, only after that, like the after we finalized to go, baru tak ada, I consulted some people. Pasal that mm. phase ato, we still don't know if we're gonna happen, yeah. and if people know that we we were a thing at mm. least, like that, it could because we're working together, lagi kan. If ah. people know, like bidat ya. If okay, we work together, like okay. as if we, macam macam like break up, tapi in the breakup, get what I mean? Macam we, macam there's something going on between them, but it didn't happen. So, uh, in case it didn't, uh, in case it didn't okay, work out. Okay. So until that point in time, even my family they didn't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Fauzan? Okay. There was one question though I asked, which is a bit funny, for lang, now that I think about I it. Tapi it was it. at that time it was important to me. Okay. I ask if she snores at night. <laughs> Imagine, aku dapat soalan na to. Aku oh, wow. Out of all the questions, he could... <laughs> but I was actually pretty serious because yeah, 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 I've yeah. heard people who snore so loud. Not gonna tell Bila lah, yeah. but I couldn't sleep and I had to get like my earphone. Oh, but my it was still really <laughs> difficult for me to sleep. And I was like, okay, if this person who's gonna be my wife, yeah. who's I'm gonna be probably sleeping every day. Next to her, if she snores, I don't think I could, you know, like live. <laughs> oh my god! And then, obvious, did you? Were you? Are you a snorer? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Macam humiliating. Tapi I get where he's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. I didn't answer it myself. Ngam ngam masato. I lived with my housemate, like literally coming in the same room together. And then I also worked offshore. I had a, a people who, eh, this lady who also sleep with me. Yeah. Um, and I also, my UK housemate. Okay. So, tiga tiga ni kutanya, let me know if I snore. So, yeah. <laughs> that comment, I pass it back to him. Kira, bukan jawapan ku, tapi jawapan orang yang tidur sama ku. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh my yeah. god. I'm the bigger snorer though. <laughs> 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 the, How in dare the he? End. <laughs> Tapi um, bertanya orang macam mana? Oh, uh, yeah. um, so when you said that day, you received that question and then you had that mindset of like macam, oh, like uh, someone like him, like asking if they want to like date me. Like, did you bring that up to Fauzan? Indo. Okay. Because the moment, I mean, when he asks, I feel like, because he's that guy, knowing the person that he is, I don't think yang macam sees himself as how you saw him. Yeah, to number one. Okay. But the, because he already asked for me, mm. to, I know already he has thought it through. Okay. It's not just cuba yeah. cuba lah yeah. sesuatu. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, what was that laughter? Who knows? Is it true? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? Cuba cuba sesuatu. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Yeah. So he already thought things a through. Thorough consideration. Yeah. So I at least am aware that he's that type of person. So aku macam inda. I do have my own negative thoughts like about me saja okay. like not fitting in you know what people see tapi nya mm -hmm. knowing that he's that type of person which I'm okay uh, I don't doubt his yeah. choice yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and I think you know, the reason why I went for her is because she was in Kasan as well yeah. so volunteering in Kasan was is one of the things that I see myself to be doing okay and if you know if I get someone else who's not in Kasan and that person doesn't understand my commitment to an NGO, then yeah. problems may arise, kan? Yeah. And I'm I'm also doing, you know, like music, apa? So 
th that's one of the things that I told her. One of my dreams is, you know, like to pursue this. So to see if she would be, you know, like supportive. okay with that, she would be supportive yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, he really asked that question when we first met at all to sit. When the manner he was like, "What do you think about, you know, him creative work?" Yeah. After <laughs> you both said yes, are the meeting at all? What happened next? Oh, we didn't say yes during the meeting. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. we went back. We okay. had time to think like Iskale. Ah, yeah. Yeah. okay. So yeah, share yeah. with me the thought process. Oh, what wow. did you you go first? What did yeah. you take away from that meeting? Ah, uh, the yeah. one thing that you remembered the most. You don't have to share all in case you don't remember. <laughs> I can remember feelings. Okay. Can't remember facts. Okay, but Shanata. Uh, what did I feel though? Mm. I, I Were you convinced that she was the one at that point? I wasn't hundred percent convinced. Yeah. Do you remember what were the remaining percentage like of why it's not a hundred percent yet? Yeah, much um I think I'm thinking okay, okay, can yeah, yeah, yeah. Much um if she becomes my wife, which mm. like what would it be like? La? I just try to imagine which, um, yeah. okay, can this person? Okay, she's it's doing poetry, she could support me up and I think one of the things young kind of helped me back was that our Shana, like her insecurities at all. Okay. Um, how do you say it? I know that to a certain standard, because uh, people keep saying that I am kind of good looking. Okay. And in society, punya standard, macam mm -hmm. maybe not macam like, average. Yeah. Or even below like, average. I don't know. know. Okay. But like people punya standard lah. Ha? Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking yeah. macam okay, orang lain punya perception mm. more than how I feel. Okay. So that I think like that was my concern. Yeah. One of that the time. concerns. Yeah. Though. Tapi macam for me, my taste is different kali <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think it's so much as like taste. I th I think when you're looking for something long term and serious, I think you start to look beyond physical yes. appearances. Yes. You know what I'm saying? More than just physical. Yeah. I'm still attracted to her physically. Mm. We, yeah. It's more than that. It's yeah. more than that. Yeah. So did how did you overcome that those perception or but if you don't mind me asking, did you see her as how she sees herself at the time? Like like she wanted to so. <laughs> like Macham because she said like you consider yourself not as like Macham uh, how people consider beautiful in a, oh. in a atukan. Mm -hmm. Did you see her as that at that time? Maybe just a little bit. Tapi niya, yeah. na, I still like her face. Yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. Yeah. It's not like much. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't very strong la, that feeling. The feel was there. Yeah. yeah. It's just more of like how people saw. Yeah. Because. Uh, initially, I imagined my wife to be, you know, like tall and fair skin, mm. like me and Chato. So, macam kawin, macam ngamun soalnya apa. Mm. Ya, kadang, kalau, kalau kesama-sara, macam dia juga ngam tu lah. Ya. Pindek. Capa orang cakap nanti ya. Oh my God. <laughs> what are oh. people going to say? Yeah. Uh, yeah, tapi in the end, those things doesn't really matter. Mm. Yeah. What matters is, uh, you know, she'll be a supportive wife. Yes. And what I have the dreams that I have at all, she'll be supportive of it and she'll be there for me. Yeah. yeah. I think one of the reasons why I find you both so intriguing is that this is a conversation that not a lot of people are willing to be open about and honest about. That's why it was so shocking to me when you actually admitted that that one of the concerns is that you were worried of how people might perceive like you're not the pic the typical picturesque couple, yeah. you know? And I, and I think that's brave for you to do and I applaud you for it and I I'm just touched honestly yeah. because in in this world especially in the social media world people like to be those like you know Brangelina couple or like macam those you know macam both are like so gorgeous looking it's mm -hmm. almost unattainable and mm -hmm. people some people are just lucky mm -hmm. you know but sometimes I think what matters the most because I used to be shallow too mm -hmm. like for me looks used to be like everything mm -hmm. but now in terms of any relationship friendship kaya mm -hmm. apa kaya romantic ka, I seek for something for someone who I can vibe with emotionally mm -hmm. and especially intellectually yeah. mm -hmm. I think those two are the most important criteria mm -hmm. if they happen to be attractive by society standards 
to me it's a bonus, bonus. Yeah. but it's not number one on my list mm-hmm. that's true. you know mm-hmm. wow at, at at that age you managed to overcome that <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah it took me it's... 20 years too. <laughs> you know? Um, has anyone actually... Because that was you internally, kan? that was your internal dialogue. Kan? Mm-hmm. But has anyone said that public, like openly directly to you? Um, I think we said it in our vlog uh, yeah. this yeah. friend. Uh, yeah. For those who haven't seen it, can yeah, you yeah. Yeah, share a bit? Close friend mm. of ours. Katanya macam, you guys are not... Chana, he said not pindang di belah dua lah. Yes. Which is a term maksudnya like yeah. term, you know, serasi. Awa, yeah, awa, yeah. Awa. But not. I mean, okay. Yeah. I mean, so the I person mean. obviously, the, okay, no, not obviously, but did the person mean in, in the serasi in terms of looks or personality? Or it was, was more looks lah. But okay. I know he was joking and yeah, I'm, I'm Still over Still not a nice it. Yeah, tapi, comment though. Yeah, I mean, Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. People are open to their perception. And, yeah. and I also know the person. Okay. Uh, I also know the person. He told me after coming out with lah. Ah, oh. okay. uh, still friends? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. <laughs> mm. Wait, so when that video came out, did he apologize or say anything? I'm not sure if he saw the video though. Yeah. I, I don't think he needs to. Uh, yeah. To be honest, pasal he consulted kan, and then he gave a fair point, a mm. fair opinion. Okay, so, okay. It gave him all the more decisions to think. Ah. Yeah. So I think he consulted this person rightfully so pasal you trust kan this yeah. person. Oh, that wasn't a consultation. Oh, yeah. He just said it. It's a okay, conversation. I think that was or... after Atuile. After Fine. Yeah. After you were close to getting married. Mm, <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe. <laughs> and I feel like the fact that, you know, he still chose you is a huge testament. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm the lucky person lang sebenarnya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's oh not the God, other way around, that. to be honest. Yeah. But now, yeah. actually, time Raya, our first year, second year of marriage. So, Raya, sometimes to me, it's not exactly the best feeling if we go to Raya oh, time to time when people meet us. Oh my God, Sarah, you're so lucky to have Fauzan. Chat to Atu yang orang cakap. No. So, that's when... Wait, who? Like, kadang-kadang aunties or, you know, people yang jarang jumpa. <laughs> yeah. So... To me, lagi kya my self esteem. So I'm already good where I am. Tapi during those moments, aku macam. It's just. No. But he, when he's there, he gives the support, no, and he'll be like, no, I'm the lucky one. Yeah, so yeah. it gives me a better feeling, lah. <laughs> but people don't realize it, kan? And this is the standard that Malayu, mm-hmm. Malaysia ka, pabaik Indonesia ka. Because if you don't see a couple yang supposedly lawa sama sama. The one young, not exactly as the prettier one at will get the one lucky. You you got this person. Yeah. How do you feel when she goes through this? I'm just glad she's strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think people who's a bit more sensitive would probably break, break down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tila. Nangisigit ako lang wawa yun. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. feel like um so is that still do you feel like is that a insecurity to you? Or uh, macham have you how do you where are you now in yeah. terms of with regards to that? Time to time when I face those situation, I mean I'm just down a bit. I built my muscle thick skin, thick yeah. muscle. I built my resilient enough to to head to meet those comments head on la but of course out of my group out of friends yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean you need an outlet yeah, outlet. yeah. i mean i tell him he he knows joa mm. um tapi i don't blame these people it's just how the society is uh, and this is somewhere where we ensure that the next generation in the chamatula um but for me alhamdulillah um kan dulu uh, before I changed myself to cover up fully from, you know, wearing hijab apa, mm. I thought that pretty men, I need a nicer hair, I need a nicer clothes. That was, you know, pretty for me because maybe my looks is not enough. So I tried to change whatever it is mm. to see, to get guys to like see, oh, la, mm. sarahani, you know, because at that time, uh, my skin wasn't as like light as it now. Okay. I can just say itam lah because people call me itam jo jo Um and dulu lagi tia kira oh that was the word people say okay which they actually tree. said kon itam oh because it became like itam cheta tapi nya I was used to it because even masa aku primary six apa that was what people say oh my God. and I'm already humbled uh because when my mom said 
ah, tadi ni apa, dia jual, kalau tak, tak kalau tahu diri ni dah berapa lawak gitu. So we need to buy lawakan akhlak. So that's what she said. Mm. So mm. macam it already gave me a perception like oh, okay, I'm not pretty enough because satu fair skin nada. So so um kalau nada fair typically fair skin ni tak yang lawakan. Mm. Uh, no matter what as long as you're fair skin you lawak. Mm. Um but after so I thought macam I don't, you know, covering up atau apa will be really tougher for me to get love or anything mm. like that in life. Pasal, you know, you people tend to resort to, you know, beautifying your figures, uh, whatever, to look pretty. But rupanya, when I already started covering up, I just needed to, you know, focus on myself, focus on other people. Uh, in the payah, in the payah, think about what I need to change. Macam my my pakaian dulu ni just just black, mm. like. He, he apparently he's attracted kan ada wa orang terpakai and yeah, yeah. i didn't have to put myself out there in such a way that i need to get attraction i just do like what i'm passionate in and in the end so you know a few people actually came out to me you know asking yeah, for marriage kan yeah. so yeah it's not everything and by then i already knew bila allah ciptakan kita ni tu it's the best and mungkin ada jua orang yang um deform apa and still lawa ba mm. uh, so it just needs people to see that but apparently looks is still you know the fair skin the flawless skin yeah yeah beauty is in the eye of the beholder they say yeah. um i remember after our marriage i told her that either pretty or beautiful lah and then she's like chanata how, how how did she say it you like um maybe you thank me kale and tapi nya She she said like she'll take it, but she doesn't really believe what I said. Oh my god! So <laughs> yeah, it's something I still ask time to time. Which I'm like, you know, I I need him to convince me I'm beautiful. But <laughs> <laughs> I do know. I mean, this is just because spouses can even I love you. He needs to repeat it to me every day. So it's this in the same manner, lah. In the same manner. But yeah, um, banar kalau especially to. To people right now who have children, and mungkin these children are you know dark skin, kapaka, they are actually just beautiful, and you need to convince them that they are. Yeah. So, but yeah, I know kalau apa apa lah, katakan. Padahal sebenarnya aku ni okay sudah ni. Ada lagi yang lagi you know. Tapi nya it still hits me because my self esteem has already been damaged from a younger from age. from a younger age. Yeah, yeah. Ada tu dulu. From Triapa, I used to run. So every single year in my high school, I joined the track competition. Selalu menang lah. Mau jua, baju jua gitu. Selalu menang lah. Maybe BTW. ada ada medal, ada medal lah. <laughs> Tapi that... dulu berlari, gugur, <laughs> masuk. During my birthday month, um, the the same time as the sports season. Sekali that was that one year that time. I have to redo my IC photo. And patang atu paginya berlari, patang atu ambil gambar. Oh my. God, you know, I see lagi. I see, oh, I see. hitam, oh, hitam. Aku sendiri lihat macam bida jauh kanya. Oh my God. <laughs> Cetu lah, cetu lah. But yeah, nak ni lawas sudah gambar resiko. Oh my yeah. God, Sarah. Thank you so much for sharing all of that. When you talk about stuff like that, how do you feel? Oh, um, I'm okay. now looking back. Yeah, looking back. Mm. I'm glad those things happened to me. Mm. Uh, and it built me to where I am today, lah. Because mm. if I don't have it, mungkin aku perasan lawa, you know. So, yeah, I th- mungkin I'll be that person who's not humble enough to know where I am at at life. And because to me, if I was born pretty, I, I keep thinking about it. If mm. I was born fair skin, if I was born, maybe aku nabe syukur. Maybe aku macam oh, I get guys around me, and aku lupa dunia, lupa daratan. So I'm glad. That I am given what I have right now, and this is more than enough. Yeah. Like I wouldn't ask Allah for more, for more yeah. Uh, and yeah, like I'm sufficient, and I already have thousand kan, yeah. and yeah. I mean the 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 point is to not the goal is to not have a husband lah, but. I'm glad that he's in my life now, uh, yeah. What do you mean? The goal is not to have husband. Like when I said it as when I mentioned the story as if look satu in the end is to get a husband, ah, but it's not. No, no, it's yeah, not yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, the point. Yeah, There's yeah. more to it in life. Yes. Yeah. 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 How do you feel when you hear her sharing all of that? Ah. Uh, I'm. Um, I'm glad I married her. Like. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think I was. 
also attracted to which I'm, I like how strong she is. I mean, yeah. When did you first realize that you fell in love with her? Did I fall in love with her before marriage? That's a, that's a question to answer. Mm. Did I actually fall in love with you? Maybe after kawin mm. Yeah, after kawin macam, okay, alhamdulillah, I vibe with her. Because we don't have the sort of conversations or interactions that couples normally have before marriage. Okay. So we are a bit, there's a boundary, yeah. I'd say. So prior to marriage, most of our conversations are kind of quite okay. serious and yeah. <laughs> formal. So after marriage, then we will have you no know, like deeper conversations. I can joke around and really be myself. Yeah. So that's why I'm okay. Ngam, ngam, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about you? When, how, how soon or how um, late into the marriage did you realize that you're in love with this man? Mm, I don't know if I realized that I love this person. Tapi, I can only think of, I think after we got married, mm. thinking of me without Fawzan, I can just cry. Like, macam, kalau aku rasa, aku nangis aku ni. Kalau, I, I kadang-kadang think, like I said, if I don't have Fawzan next to me, which I'm, that's when I know I love him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> no. Give me. Nah, sekarang kalau kena rakam, tiarang kalau ay, mai buat sendiri lah. Yeah. Oh. Because I think. Sekarang kena rakam kan? Because, because like um. Falling in love, atu, that's a choice we make after we decided to get married to each other, kan? So, pani, there's an Indonesian, lovely Indonesian phrase, something macam membina cinta, you know? Build. You build the love. Yeah. So, it's not like, oh, mm. I love you immediately. Yeah, but yeah. because we already knew, we settled with our mission and vision, I think, you know, we can both well together, and then mm. akad nikah happen. Yeah. So, that's when we decided, okay, I'm going to fall in love with it. But it I'm gonna fall in love with this person. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna love every side of that person, yeah. the flaws and the wow. Because I'm 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 so used to in a living in the in the in a world where um yeah, like I said, people get to know each other before they get married to make sure they're marrying into the right person. Mm. But in your case and many others too, you get married first and then decide to fall in love with each other mm-hmm. and get to know each other after marriage. And yeah. I think yeah. that's very, very alien to me, that concept. Mm. Yeah. But like now I'm starting to see the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah. And actually more much, um, more touched because of like all the things that you went through when you were younger. Like, I think this is God's gift, mm. <laughs> you know, to finally like, in a way, God telling you like, you think no one's gonna love you? Well, here you go. Yeah. This man is gonna love you, like, you know. Yeah, honestly, I was prepared. You know that time when I got the call at the, mm. that very year, much I already I told this in our video, but I aimed for a different person, like just aim chmato. Okay. But in the in the happen, so at that time I was like. But I don't think I'm gonna get married by Akutua. So I was mm. getting bracing myself to not be married until Akutua. Yeah. You know, and just be, you know, uh, doing my thing. Mm. But that the moment I don't think about it, that is when it comes to me. Yeah. Uh, like the call, like, you know, someone's interested in you. Okay. That's crazy. Then the moment his call came, I orang lain lagi yang interested. Oh yeah, when we're talking about her journey at Tugan, yeah. there's this one concept in Islam, which mm. is Bersangka Baik to Allah in English that's <laughs> yeah, tapi uh, Allah said in the Quran that there could be a thing that you like, but it's actually bad for you. Yeah. But there could be a thing that you dislike, but it's actually good, good for you. So we have to always uh, think good uh, of Allah, trust mm. in His plans. Yeah. And yeah, Alhamdulillah. So just reflecting on her journey, journey yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we move on yeah. to the marriage. Oh, wow. <laughs> what was it like preparing, counting the days to the marriage? So understand how you guys interacted prior to getting married is uh, through a group chat. And then there's another person in that group just to monitor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the conversations that you guys have in that group chat were mostly serious. Lah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Did you guys ever meet with each other after that initial meeting? Yes, yes. Sama jo, missed ya that that person, a, a, a third person. I think the next one after that was I brought you to my family. I think, mm. okay. which was one of the most awkward thing I think Why? that happened. Because tell you know, me, I never dated anyone, and yeah. I'm a pretty awkward person oh. in general, lah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Sekalinya, uh, what happened was I invited her over to a dinner the at a restaurant. Birthday, your sister. My sister's birthday. Yeah. yeah okay, my sister's birthday. So I in- invited her. And the only one who knows about Sarah at that time was my parents, because I already I prior to that I told my parents that I want to get married, oh. and and then I'm gonna bring this person lah, mm. uh, and then sekalinya, uh my siblings na tau who Sarah is, and then so she sat there. Uh, with my whole family and then ate up uh, but no one knows who she was <laughs> I didn't introduce her oh my god Fauzan what the hell are you thinking <laughs> sorry and then and then no one even no asked one did I even introduce you afterwards Baik Jo I'm a friendly person oh, yeah. so I came there thinking people there knew I was gonna come wah so you just like, acted like, oh, they all know who I am. Yeah, like I bought presents for the sister. Oh, like, happy birthday. Yeah. Rupanya, after we got married, the sister like, I didn't know car who you were. No, 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 no. Now you know why I said I was the lucky one. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> Mamanya tahu pula, mamanya bapanya tahu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But I was sitting close to the siblings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh my God. Maybe they're already aware because they're already aware because they're already aware because they're already aware. No. And, okay, and then after yeah, that? It was really char- bad. Know, it was, was really... at charcoal. It was at charcoal. Yeah, yeah. I didn't oh. want to say it today. <laughs> 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 After that, and then that did you, really apart from that initial meeting, any other meetings? When did you meet her? Perhaps? Um, I think after, kan? So we met at Tarinda, at the, yeah, by okay. the beach, mm. and then that was a pretty nerve wracking moment for I me. I remember, yeah. macam, I remember what what I ordered. I think roti talor, gale, roti talor, and some drink lah. Mm. So yeah, aku remember macam aku can be no more. Can makan ni macam <laughs> oh my god. Control yourself, how is that? <laughs> Act cool. Yeah, yeah. I could like I'm not the person who's used to talking to people and especially elder people. Yeah. I'm not good at talking to older oh. people. So much me was was pretty awkward. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And yeah. then do you remember what your parents told you after that? Like no. what they thought of him? No, even then. Like, can I told you my siblings all dated and got married. So, nada pernah pernah ni cuma nene. It's just like, ma ba, I sok tarin taka jumpa this person, jumpa someone. So, like, durang macam okay, you know. So they just went. Mm. I think I drove. I brought my parents. Di tarin tak. Uh, the pantai one, the pantai one. Jerudong kan? Jerudong. Pagi pagi lagi tu, panas belang ya. Sekali, so we came. Uh, and then he arrived. Sekali, my dad is the person yang bercakap sama orang. Okay. So, dia yang start bawa the cakap. conversation, bawa bercakap. Mm. Probably. <laughs> yeah, and then my mom also. So, bercakap tadi orang. So, aku macam, I just let them be. Yeah. Mm. I think after that. Yeah, what did they say to you? In the car. Antal. It was awkward for me. Tapi, orang macam, mm, okay. I think, durang but durang pun tercangang because I think dia handsome kan. Macam macam bangang kali macam ah. Durang star struck je. Mana kau orang ni mau anak? Satu kali lah, satu kali. Oh lah. my god. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then after that then we just have a few more like dinners kali ya. Mm. And, with family. Oh uh, yeah, with family. Okay. And then all the plannings for marriage was mostly through WhatsApp. Okay. Mm. But then your after macam atu, then your parents ke rumah datang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yang, what do you call that? Ber, uh, merisik. Tanda, oh, oh, merisik kata. Merisik kata, yeah. Oh, merisik. Yeah. Where they discuss in, the dates yeah. and blah, blah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um, what was the time period between when you first had that initial meeting and when you got married? Is it a long time or? Exactly one year. Oh, exactly yeah. one year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, one year. So, okay. June 2017. June 2018, we got married. Ah. Yeah. And in between those periods, were there any moments of doubt or any challenges that you went through before that questioned whether you want to go through with this marriage or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. 
you can you can you can go first. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 my is always short. Uh, the only thing is, I have to say, yeah, my concern with you know like people's perception. That was okay. that was it. I think mostly. Mm. Um, and then because at that time I wasn't exactly financially stable, okay. so I had this concern, much like, okay, am I able to you know provide yeah. for my family nanti lah yeah mm-hmm. that was a concern lah and then there's i remember there's one day i w- had an car accident lah. yeah the one chap yeah and then after that i had to pay a lot i was like hmm that's a huge chunk of money kalau yeah. nanti ada much money <laughs> oh, wow. will i be able to provide for my family and i started to think started to think kan with my you know like career decisions of at that yeah. time yeah and then yeah. after that how yeah what happened that made you like okay you know what let's just get married anyway I think cuma na, like, okay maybe boleh lah masih. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I had my doubts, but you know I still went on with it and then just trusted that. Macam if you want to do good, then Allah will help you. Inshallah. Yeah. Of course you have plans lah. Yes. It's not like just yeah, you just buta. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. you trust that everything will will work out the way it should be yeah, with like, usaha and stuff yes. like that yeah okay yeah. even for me i knew what he was earning back t- that time yeah and i still proceeded because it wasn't the finance that mm-hmm. made me choose him kan yeah Pasal knowing the creative scene and where he worked and in brunei generally creative scene you don't earn as much yes but i believed but... in his dreams yeah yeah Uh, and support him, Jua, because mm. you were freelancing, author, apa kan? Yeah. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. Uh, it depends on projects you get, and mm. barutah you ato. So I knew that, but I still said okay. Pasal, I I don't imagine that immediately kawin ato. You know, you already have a big house, yeah, apa? The, yeah. If you do, great. Yeah, great like a fairy tale ending. Oh, uh, fairy tale ending. Yeah. Tapi, yeah, we you know the hustling together. It's the memories, kan? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think hearing stories from other people as well, like how people get like jobs after they get married, they get more risky after they get married. That sort of solidified my atula, you know, my intention atu. Yeah. yeah, there was one thing, um, one thing I really appreciated from Fauzan before we got married. Mm. Um, I said, um, macam kirakan if he were to our kawen atu, the preparation money atu, if he want to, you know, pakai his parents kapa, macam he can do so tapi i said for my what's the name of it mahar ano ito ayan no mas kawin mas kawin ah, yeah. said for my mas kawin it needs to come from you sekali ah. what he told me was he sold his camera and sold my lens lens yeah. or camera whatever and to me aku macam wow that is his kirakan at that time lifeline nya kan yeah. so i knew he was serious tapi yeah. rupanya lepas kahwin andangnya jenis macam tu <laughs> like selling bali <laughs> selling bali <laughs> That's pretty normal. <laughs> so, tapi to me, then aku macam wow, this guy is committed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, he stick, he stayed true to what he says, lah. Yeah. What about you? What were some of the challenges that you faced? To me, leading up to the marriage. Yeah, other than suddenly, like within the period after, I think literally after you called me ato, the next two weeks, ada tiyama macam suitors yeah ada yeah. lagi someone asked through a different person like wow. if i'm real kan suddenly yeah. hmm? what call not call but so, uh, ada your call yeah someone asked through a person oh. atau ada and then and then aku macam dah lah because i already wanted mm. to because in the jobi side yeah, like yeah, so many yeah. people to know at the same time mm. and then ada jua another person suddenly say oh ada feelings to me macam, oh, okay. oh like oh Okay. Oh, wow. Like, wow. Um, tapi, Self-esteem issues, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, rupanya. Yeah. <laughs> tapi only after after this came, kan? Yeah. If he never came, then where would they be? So, um, I I knew that was a challenge. Mm. Um, and then career jual lah. Kan at that time, I was offshore. So, that was also a concern. Because if we're going to get married or sekiranya, of course, the thoughts about ada anak ka pa and if I'm offshore, macam mm. mana? Mm, mm, so, mm. It was really a concern as well, but we just stick true lah. The even two weeks before we got married, I was still offshore. Oh, <laughs> oh which, um, I had to for my own development. Yeah. I had to stay there at that time. Kira kan inda lagi offshore based, mm. but two weeks before we got married, I had to be offshore lah. Yeah. yeah. 
Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. I want to take this chance to remind you to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Talking to your friends and family about Easy Does It helps us reach new listeners who may enjoy the show as much as you do. And as you know, we recently launched our crowdfunding campaign to keep the show going, but this is entirely optional. Those who are willing and capable can transfer however much into the bank account in the description box below. And as usual, I want to thank you for your incredible support and hope you enjoy the show. Okay, um, so now the marriage day. Mm. How, <laughs> how was the, if this is too personal, you don't have to answer it, but how was the first night after you both got married? Because you said after the marriage, you can finally be yourself and like, <laughs> was it like a relief to you both? Yeah. Of course. Uh, hey, so wait, so the, where did you guys live at that point? Because okay. usually the guy lives around the... Yeah. yeah. That's the interesting one. Okay. So, um, some, my cousin too. My cousin married earlier than me. Sekali, uh, her first night, she durang tidur di hotel. Because ah, okay. away from parents, kan? Because yeah, yeah. if with parents, apa, or siblings, balik, macam, shh, Oh, know? yeah. <laughs> so, so, I took the same decision. Okay. So, we took the same decision. So, yeah. we stayed at this, that first night. Because, imagine if suddenly balik and people like, macam, Sindir sindir kami. Belum juga biasa tu. Oh, uh, it'll be so uh, it's yeah. extra awkward for you. Belum kenal kan? So we said, let's just get you know like a like private. So yeah, yeah I think we can say we went to Radisson Hotel. Okay. We ate Shibas. Yeah, that's our Ooh. first dinner together. First oh my date god! Ever. First date ever. Shibas something. Shibas. <laughs> Shout out to Radisson. Doesn't matter pelang what the food is. Tapi ya. But the we still remember. remember <laughs> Throughout this interview, you remember very little. <laughs> tapi, tapi sharing. Rupanya, lapar masih. No, 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 no. I'm good. Oh my God, do you remember what conversations you had during those first yeah. intimate moments? I think before malam hati lah, before, before the night, ya patang we finished the wedding and we were, I think I was just so exhausted. Yeah, yeah, and I can imagine. Oh, so we went back to my house first. Yeah, ah. uh, but before that, masa, I mean, I think that was our f- kind of first conversations can yeah. you, during the actual wedding itself because oh. so, I you know I like held her hands for the first time yeah yeah <laughs> after, after he sat next to me you know the first thing he said you look beautiful today <laughs> oh my god did I <laughs> you did you did, you did. Oh. yeah yeah so much um yeah like first time um, you know properly yeah, yeah it was a uh, Quite an experience, lah. And then so, balik rumah, I think I slept. Kali, oh, yeah. first yeah. we were Knocked at her place, place, lah. Cam tidur aku. Awkward pulang tu, sekarang macam ah tidur saya lah, ngaleh, ngaleh. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I think your brother said, okay, yeah, boleh masuk bilik sudah tu, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hate it when people make comments like that because it's so awkward. Like okay, like <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Yeah. yeah. And then siap akhir kelijuan and we had to like asar and because masih pakai makeup apa kan and we we got married zuhur time and then putih gabis after the gambar and then the photo shoot outside we mm. we got married in UBD mm-hmm. so we were outside ambil gambar and then sampai cari like a proper place and then like three just pl- get it over and yeah three okay. plus already <laughs> then, autopilot sudah <laughs> oh my god yeah so balik rumah and then have to like get all the makeup and then solat and then you imam me kan the first time. I guess, I guess, yes, it wouldn't be good if it was the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you guys are. <laughs> lame kan, lame kan. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, we're okay. No, it's it's funny. It's banter. Yeah. Um, what were some of the like, much um, biggest adjustments you had to make with getting married and like living with each other? The ones that you can like remember. Yes, um, I think the f- at least for the first few months or years, okay, lah, like I had to control my farting. And okay, toilet dulu lah, just to fart. Prop, yeah, prop, yeah. Oh lah, my God! Lah. God. Yeah, yeah, one of the adjustments. <laughs> That is that a I major think adjustment. Of. Oh it's my a major god! Adjustment. <laughs> what about you? Do you worry about these things? Like, do you worry about farting in front of him? In dog, cause I work in a male-dominated dominated 
yeah. built, right? So, yeah. and offshore talaga. Eh. Oh, wow. So, in the Johan Chaka, I've seen it all, and they just said, seen it all, but. Yeah, to you it's just normal. Uh, normal. Yeah, it normal. happens. Yeah, like <laughs> manusia. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but that's kind of endearing that he's shy to do in front of you, right? Like, like okay, I'm <laughs> But that was like the first few months. I said the Mary. first few months or the first year, lah. Oh. <laughs> so that we don't know. I mean, not that we don't know. I'm not gonna say it. Is, was there any major adjustments you had to make? Um. Yeah. The the living. So. Okay. Um. Other than so, the first night we stayed over at Radisson Hotel, mm. and after that, we already. I know before we decided to rent a place mm-hmm. closer to my workplace. Yes. So the Lumut. Okay. And the rumah tu when we first came there. Why? <laughs> oh yeah, the house was in a pretty bad, bad state. St- State. Okay, yes. you know it was okay, sebenarnya. It was. It was okay. It was you look just fully look at furnished. It. Sekali kami ke bedroom. Kami ngaleh ne. You know, we drove from Bandar to Ksana. Sekali we went to the bedroom, the master bedroom. Sekali you know the bed. Kami sudah balik bantal apa. Sekali kami kan vacuum lah. Sekali when we uh, kan pasang the kan pasang the bed sheet. Sekali kami buka belakangnya. Oh my god, no! Please don't. Satu lipas. Sekali oh. dua banyak banyak talor lipas. Banyak from this. Sekali, it, was just, a lot. it was, it a, was lot. a lot. A lot. I would get rid of the whole thing. I would move out. What the hell were you guys a thinking? A lot. Okay, Fox's place. Ew. Yeah, but we already decided to stay. But we stayed there for okay, <laughs> one year. Tapi jarang just stay sana. Balik je ke bandar. Yeah, yeah. That didn't work out that well. But we yeah. tried. Yeah, but tried. it was, Ita, because of that jua, it gave a good experience for us, kan? Yeah, you know, yeah. So we suddenly see the side of you wouldn't see if it's a perfect house true, condition. True, true, true. It brought you both closer to yeah. each other. Because I think if you stay, for example, if she stays in my parents' house, yeah, I'm less controlled, but she'll be you know, controlled. Okay, true. If I stay at her place, her yeah. parents' place, I would be more controlled. So you don't really get to see yeah. the, the real Hausan okay. or like the real Sarah. Yeah. So yeah, when you yeah. stay at your own place, mm. you get to you know you get to see each other. Yeah, and, and just be each other. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So kalau macam kan klay kapa, it's all good there. Kalau <laughs> parents macam you can't be too loud kalau klay. <laughs> Speaking of klay, what was the first fight? What was it about? No, it was about tiredness, about you know, balik rumah macam mm. because the changing of rumahnya rumahku. Okay. And because I have to commute, mm-hmm. ngale lah, ngale. And it, you know, the only the only reason you get into fights is satu, you lapar, okay. hangry, right? Yeah, yeah. Hangry, and then to really tired. Mm. And these moments are the moments where you don't want to kacau. Okay. And yata jua masanya bila kacau, hang hang hungry and tired. Tired. Yeah. And that's when macam basti mana ni, basti mana. Oh, sini lah, ngale lah. And okay. then he's like, no, my house or or my house. So yeah. atu yang in the end just. Just leads into an argument. Yeah, or like oh. you want to go to the other house. Kali mana baju ni? Mana baju ni? You know, like, and then you start like to annoy each other. To annoy, annoy each other. Oh. Yeah. What about like some, um, I wouldn't say meaningful fights, but like fights that made you both understand each other better. Not like little stuff like that, because mm. that's I think normal oh. on a daily basis. Yeah. 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 If I can say. I don't know what you're yeah. thinking. Because, <laughs> like, in terms of for us, kan, so we married knowing that we both are committed to the deen, kan? Yes. So as we got married, things about hypocrisy starts hypocrisy. coming in. Okay. Of course, you know, when we before we got married, macam, I think of you as the person who's, you know, like, um, beragama, apa, yes. uh, and then me as well to him, kan? But realizing it's not, we're not the perfect Muslim. Uh, of course, we have our flaws. Mm. So what I imagine... Um, and what he imagines of me, what I imagine of him, might not turn out to be the real time lah. You think this person prays on the dot, you know, mm. waktu solat, okay. indah, yeah. yeah. there are days where telalai jua. Mm. So, d- during those days where I think my iman is good, yeah, yeah indah, uh-huh. sekali I'll be the judgmental one. Uh-huh. Ah. So, those are the kind of fights we have 
because we entered into marriage knowing like, hey, you know, you're practicing, I'm practicing. Mm -hmm. And you think after that, it's all good. Yeah. Like, hey, let's pray together five times a day. Let's watch a Quran, the vinda. Mm -hmm. There are days when we're tired to read the Quran. There are days where, macam keluarlah yang the, tapi ni ruh hadis ani oh keluar semua tuan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so ada those things lah, and that's where it really humbles us okay. because he has seen me, I've seen him. Mungkin orang lain lihat kami macam oh they're like a good Muslim couple, yeah. tapi yeah. we know each other best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are the fights yang I think make me think like if I go out there, people think we are, you know, macam all religious dorang ani. Yeah. Tapi yeah. we know ourselves better. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Especially much um the fact that we are content creators too, that we create videos, you know, like talking about marriage and Islamic things, so yeah. it puts a certain pressure pulang. Uh -huh. just a disclaimer, we're not like, you know, we're not the perfect couple yeah. and that yeah. we know everything about we're not yeah. even professionals in marriage and again. Mm. So yeah, but we're progressing and learning as yeah, we it's a together. journey. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those judgmental facts lah. And when we spit out the bars to each other, <laughs> oh, you know, spit facts. Yeah. Ah, to suck it. Ah, chum, chum. Yeah. That is a very interesting <laughs> fight. I want to witness that. <laughs> what other major issues do you usually face during your marriage? Like, my chum personal stuff because this is like you both are just getting to know each other and going on this journey after the marriage right mm. so much um what were some of the things that you discover about each other that's like okay like it's probably not easy to deal with in the beginning but like you accept that okay this is just who they are as a person and like there's always room for growth right mm. so much on what if you can remember. <laughs> since you're laughing, seems like you yeah. have something to say. I can't recall a lot of things, Hulang. Mm. Um, initially, this is not major, Hulang. Uh, okay. Initially, she was the one doing laundry. Okay. Sekalinya, I was like, mm, that's not how I like to do my laundry. Like, okay. You're putting way too much in there. Sekalinya, in the end, like, I just do my laundry myself. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so until now we do our separate laundry. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So tapi macam there's more than just that lah when it comes to our own habits. Yes, yeah. So those small things, there's a lot of that. And then in the end, macam you just get to accept saja lah. Mm. You can't change everything lah. There True. are certain things that you can find a middle ground apa. Yeah. Nya, yeah, for certain things. I'm just accept it lah. Yeah. The beauty of that is because you're two different individuals who grew up in different households. So when you get married, you will definitely find the best practices from each household. And that's where you create a better one. Mm. And then you pass it down to your generation. Yeah. So yeah. for me, like a good thing about him is uh yeah suka kalau cuci kalau sebelum makan, pabaik tak pakai uh, sudu ka pa. Ya mesti cuci tangan. Oh. Sekali, I don't, for me, kalau pakai sudu garpu, anda juga pakai cuci tangan. Yeah. Nah, I just, macam tu. Yeah, yeah. Sekali, I'm like, kenapa mesti cuci tangan? He would tagor, like, cuci tangan ba? And then, and then I'm like, kenapa? Saya sunnah. Ba, okay. Macam, oh. let me clarify on that lah. Ha. Macam, okay. so when you follow the sunnah tu, uh, you wash your hands before you eat kan? Mm. Are you washing your hands because follow sunnah ataupun because you want to clean your hands? Okay. So it's supposed to be because you want to follow the sunnah. Jadi oh. that's, that's how I saw it lah. Yeah, so yeah. whether I'm you know like eating with garfu kapa, like I just wash my hands. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's passed on to me lah. Yeah. Just you see, tangan sudah. There are days I forget kan. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and then me as well. Like to me, every time perbaik tak pakai stokian before masuk rumah, eh, pete lagi masuk bilik. Mesti cuci kaki. Okay. Like, and he doesn't. Sekali aku macam cuci kaki wah. I never do that. <laughs> Before the marriage. Yeah. Macam, yeah. It took me quite a while to adapt. So macam, now every time I go into the house, first thing I do, most of the time, yeah. is wash my hands and Your my feet. feet. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Also, and especially after COVID, like baju yang bekas dari luar, mm. jangan kau naik katil. Oh yeah, atu, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a habit we all had to like, because yeah. if he's tired, he's just gonna lie down. I'm like, yeah. baju. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So those things, I think, 
it makes we could get get into small fights because of that. Yeah, you know, when you're yeah. tired, yeah. when you're at the, the yeah. Feet, yeah, there's. But you'd rather fight about those little things over like you know unnecessary like really big fights, right? Yeah. Those are the cute little moments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The plong cute that bring that moment. Oh, and the, the plong. But yeah, as an yeah. outsider, oh, cute, just don't need to play. But honestly, if I reflect into our marriage, we're very childish. Mm. Like you, when we do reflection in a video, you see like this mature couple, kali lah. Yeah, yeah. But in our day to day, we're very childish. Mm. Uh, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, I don't see us being mature. so mature. <laughs> no, but like I think I think macam when you frame that word as being childish, I think it's like it's part of like discovering yourself and. Children are always known for discovering themselves too as they grow, can? Okay? And I think, you know, your age is just a psychological thing. I had this conversation with a previous guest who said that, and I was like, okay, that's actually true. Where you feel like macham, you have to act a certain way or speak a certain way because you're a certain age, but you know, you're discovering yourself on a constant basis, wa? You know, and especially when in a marriage, you discover things about yourself through your partner. And yeah, and that could be through childish fights, yeah. Yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and it's okay. Yeah, talking about child. Yeah. Okay. Do you watch Digimon? Who? Digimon. Yeah. <laughs> Chali ni Chali, but yeah, it's all. I always wonder, like, you know how Digimon they can only on a certain age they can see the Digimon. Yeah. So the reason why they can't see Digimon anymore is because they grow up. Yes. Right. Sekali, I always see it. Me, which Allah, you know. So I re- for us to see the fantasy world, you need to live. In that state of child, yes. not be child, not dish, not, not childish, childish but, but childlike. Yeah, childlike, yeah. like yes. embrace the curiosity, yeah. the likeness. Yes. So because I'm a fan of Digimon, like the logos really like Digimon. Oh my god! I carry that with me. Yeah, I love how that what that's what you took away from Digimon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Maybe one thing, kali, yang we had to adapt is jam. What we learn through our marriage is you do things that your spouse appreciate. Okay. So there are certain things that you do maybe your spouse may much um in the appreciate pun. So much um we kind of you know figured that way atila the those things yeah. And even when it comes to much um our chores, uh so initially like Sarah is the one young much um cooking lah. Uh and then but she doesn't really, doesn't like cooking lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't mind food, lah. Yeah, uh, I don't really mind food. Tapi uh, Sarah just doesn't like food. It just burdens me for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It doesn't like cooking. Sorry. Yeah, like I was cooking. like, wait, she doesn't like food. <laughs> 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 Did you say you like food? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sekalinya, uh, but I like cooking. I'm not saying I'm good, but I like cooking. Yeah. So in the end, like we figured out, like our chores, like okay, who should do this and who oh, should do that, and yeah. we don't have to follow. You yeah. know, the typical... typical. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like how you brought that up because um, I think a few years ago, my friends, um, they've been married for a long time, but Barwani, they finally bought a house. And he was just sharing with me like, like the chores and the roles that he and his wife took on. It's like, yeah, it's like, like he does the dishes, he does the laundry, he hangs it, and usually in a typical household, the woman is expected to do that, right? Mm-hmm. But like, it's really chilled. Yeah, I feel like now our generation, yeah, that's true. it's like no judgment when guys do what typically what the wife has to do and the wife does what typically the guy has yeah. to do. Right? I don't know if um, people, guys out there can agree with this, tapi there's only, or for women to know, there's only certain things there's only certain things husbands expect of you. Young okay. to me, uh, what I learned from Fauzan is yeah. when... What sound is that? Uh, the oh, okay. Yeah. So for me, like for, for Fauzan, he expects when he comes back home, I need to sambut him okay. in a smiley face, okay. not a frown face. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did that one time, I frown and he's just like in a bed with Taras. So... Because, I mean, he, you know, guys, bekerja, goes home. They yeah. want to see a happy face, can yes, Don't add yeah. to a necessary, uh, a necessary stress yeah, after yeah. the stress from work, lah, kalau yeah. stress. So okay. that's number one. Two, um, when it comes to dinner time, I'm used to, with my family, makan separately. Oh. So if you makan, makan, go. You know, okay, like, okay. But after marriage, 
he is the type yang no you need to sit with me oh. like you know eat together yeah, yeah. and even when it together i will seek permission can i check my phone check youtube mm. but as long as we're together together yeah yeah, yeah. and there was a third one why i forgot but basically the basic minimum as a wife is one sambut ta balik your husband in a happy face yeah to you know eat together mm. and then i forgot <laughs> <laughs> i think the first one ato uh, macam you know going back from work you like macam tired kan and then you just wanna you know maybe see your wife and then just forget about stressful the, yeah. things apa sekali yeah. macam imagine you coming back home sekali macam oh ani 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 like yeah, true, things true, macam yeah. belum buat ke apa ha so mm, macam yeah. you're like oh no can i yeah. just relax first <laughs> But is it um do you guys practice like a fair fair trade so like for example oh for example like do you also expect him him expect him to be the same as well like macam when you come home is it usually him that's coming home later than you or what masa ni me i'm i'm coming home late ah okay okay yeah. so when you come home later than him like do you also like wish he would some would you with like a smiley face yeah uh, it mm. just happens out of coincidence i wouldn't macam tapi now because terbiasa yeah. it becomes a normal like i have the, i have now. the keys mm. but i still bell and wait for him to buka but sometimes he's in the toilet for a long and time there's one point yeah macam <laughs> bell I'm like okay i'm on the way sudah yeah you buka tu mesti okay ke kunci dalam bar oh you need to it you just bell yeah <laughs> but i think i was in my head that one three seconds is like 10 20 seconds yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so that um but other expectations in the pulang yeah but going back to his point yang do what your spouse appreciate you to mm. do if there's one thing i can share I want to share this for our next video. Pina pa pala share sini lang. Exclusive. Um, <laughs> exclusive on easy does it? Yeah. Um So, you know when he put jokes me, uh, he he does it okay plang sebenarnya, tapi not the way I want it to be. Okay, And okay. for me, I tried to send this telepathy like just get it, bro. Get it. Get it. But he doesn't seem to get it. Yeah. So, you know, like selama ni, I think after four years or three years baru tahu macam dia tahu macam mana. Like if I cry, you know, mm-hmm. if there's certain things that makes me cry or mm. you know, sad stuff, he would like console me. Chum, oh, okay, chum, ni wah, chane, chum, cons- uh, console chum, pat, pat. Yeah, he would yeah. console like chane, chane, or you know, like hug me and whatnot. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Tapi rupanya I don't like it, bah. Macam padahal you know you if you are sad apa, your friend does it. You're consoling someone, okay. and he does it. Uh-huh. He does it rightly. Yeah. For to what you know the norm is. Yeah. So. But I didn't appreciate it. Okay. Oh, macam kalau aku nangis, aku mau kalau, you know, my oh, tears like, wah. Oh, like okay. selama ni kalau aku nangis, yang dalap wah. Cak aku mesti lap sendiri. So like, <laughs> macam, can you just get it? So macam, so if I'm crying, I'm still crying because. Wait. So hold on, hold on. I'm imagining how you were sending your telepathically. So did you like? Macam. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's wet. How did you? Oh. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sh- So um, she had to tell me what to do, and then from then on, cem oh baru kita tahu. Cem aku nama ni, wah nama aku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalau tears gua, and he still was awkward to do it. Yeah, and I think this is where communication is very important. It's key. Yeah. Some things that you want or you expect your spouse to do, ka to have, ka apa. I mean, just say it because yeah, we're not yeah. mind readers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think in any sort of relationship, I think communication is very important between yeah. friends, between partners, between husbands and wives, mm-hmm. colleagues. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. challenge with I think because spouse like it, yeah, you live in the same house. Yeah. yeah. You sort of expect them to know, mm. and yeah, walaupun we say communication, even mm. now day to day, like five years in marriage and mungkin yeah. going forward, yeah. there's still some things that we're ego with. Yeah, True. Macam, you should know this, you know, five years already, True. But you will still keep it, uh, which yeah, like time to time, my ask Fauzan, I like, hey, do you have any feedback for me? What should I improve upon? And he's like, oh, oh okay. But if he's angry, everything goes out. And I'm like, I asked you the other day for feedback. Yeah. There's no feedback. Yeah, yeah. But he's like, angry, like, you know, there's certain things. Maybe he's hungry. Typically, yeah. when he's hungry, yeah. I need my food. Like, like, ah. Huh? 
I asked you the other day. I thought you said not no issues. Kali mm. rupanya ada the issue. So yeah. you know those things. Mm. Yeah. But I think conversations like that, um, I don't understand because sometimes when you ask someone, kan, it's like even in friendships. When things are good, apa, you just don't want to have that conversation at the time. Mm-hmm. There's a certain time and place mood to have those kinds of reflections. Mm-hmm. Like, macam, even when you want to self-reflect on yourself, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm not going to self-reflect when I'm with people or when I'm out watching mm-hmm. a movie, apa, I need to set, like, macam, okay, my journal. Maybe if I have a candle, I'll light it. Mm-hmm. Macam, set the music or not. Macam, then I'll be able to fully immerse myself and like, okay, easy. This is how you've been doing. Like, what are your worries? Up this more. I think setting is what a lot of people forget. Mm-hmm. Having a safe space to have those conversations are very, very important. Mm-hmm. Timing as as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, that's just you know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. our timing is just when he explodes. <laughs> Because for me, I'm the person young. Whenever I see things he needs to do, I say it on the spot. Okay. Tapi kalau him in that. Ah, he just keeps it. Yeah, and he then keeps it. Oh, okay, yeah, then yeah. He, the bubble bursts and like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are much um, certain occasions where I'm not actually angry. Yeah. Tapi because my tone wasn't ah, right. It sounded like okay. Yeah, then she's like, why are you angry? I wasn't angry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not used to speaking to women so much. Yeah. So much. Um. Because even now, when he carries that tone, it's like a work tone, and mm. I have to remind him, I'm your wife, I'm not your work colleague. Chatua. <laughs> when when I start to debate on him on the creative stuff yeah. or macam tu, keluar dia suaranya yang berkeraja. Oh. Like, no, this is how you should edit. This is. You yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, orang ni. <laughs> <laughs> Even at work, she didn't be like that too long. <laughs> Speaking of work and like the videos, um, recently you posted um a video about trust, mm-hmm. and for me, I also found that very interesting. The moment you posted it on Instagram stories, I watched immediately. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I'm honestly a huge fans of you both now. Oh, yeah, you. because I think like much is very interesting when you share stories about your marriage. It gives me an insight onto who knows. Maybe I'll go through it too, mm-hmm. too one day, right? It could benefit me, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure people who are living a similar life like yours would benefit it more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Do it more often, yeah. yeah But you. yeah, going back to that, um, let's talk about that—the issue of trust in marriage. Some of the things that really got my attention is because, again, yeah, I'm only asking out of genuine curiosity mm-hmm. because I don't live a similar life mm-hmm. like yours, nor am I in a relationship. <laughs> But in case one day I'm in a relationship, um, some of the questions that I listed down while I was re- watching the video was, um. You covered a lot about insecure insecurity already um, in the beginning of this uh, conversation, lah, macam tadi tu kan, and really appreciate how you are very willing and open to share. Um, one thing that you, okay, so I think two things that stick out for me is when you saw Fauzan liking a photo, mm-hmm. and then. Um, You you both check each other's phones. Mm-hmm. So those two things I want to talk about before we move on to different things. Now, so the first one is that I find it very interesting how you saw Fauzan liking an Instagram post, and that the picture I thought has a woman in the middle of front or something, right? Mm-hmm. And then you screenshot it, and then you sent it to him, and then you ask why did you like this photo? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can see you already laughing. <laughs> okay, so you've told me your side of the story in the video when you received that text message did you remember what was the initial reaction you did because obviously you guys weren't together at the time she had to message you yeah right yeah. what was the first thing that came to your mind when you received that message and screenshot sana was like okay maybe banar lah jo i shouldn't have maybe i shouldn't have yeah no but it was a question first Right? Eh, was, it was a question, right? You I, asked him? I think so. Imagine yeah. Why did you like this photo? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. So the first thing like, in my head, okay, maybe I shouldn't have liked that photo uh, in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, but like, like, the reason I like that photo is because Satoi was a friend of mine who took that photo. Yeah. And yeah. it was a pretty cool photo. Yeah. Yeah. But I think even during the time of like, can like that photo too, maybe I had like, okay, maybe I shouldn't like 
Ya, yeah. okay. tapi macam I did like it lah macam okay cool jadi yeah. gambaran ni. So and then she uh, she screenshotted it and sent mm. it to me. I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, his reply was sorry. His reply was sorry. Oh. I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't okay. have done that lah. Now that I think about it, yeah, I really shouldn't have done mm. it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Walaupun lawa pelang gambarnya. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, okay, but, but like, like macham for, for your side, side the, the what was the reason why you wanted to know why he liked that photo? Yeah, I just want I out of genuine curiosity, like yeah. why did you like this photo? Um, okay. I think atu banar banar. I said in the video was one year, tapi rupanya when I checked, it was within six months of our marriage. Oh, okay, okay. So because when I came into the idea of marriage into him, mm. I thought. Like I already think, like oh, this guy has integrity. Like mm. he doesn't look at you know bini bini. Yeah. Juta. Yeah. Sekali, when I see ya, like gambar bini bini. Yeah. Sekali aku macam eh, strange yeah. juta. Okay. Uh, rupanya, rupanya diam diam ya cuma nikah. You know, like in the you know red flags. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tapi, um, I what's the word? Like I gave him the benefit out of the doubt, of and the I doubt. asked, like, yeah. why did you mm. like this photo? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So rather than just immediately assuming, actually, okay. Now that you said it, okay, it's very interesting, Long. Because for me, when I when I when I watched the video, I was like, okay, I wanna ask, I wanted to ask you, like, Macham, is it how do you balance between being inquisitive and wanting to know out of genuine curiosity why your husband liked that photo, and the like in a way, Macham, like questioning him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because like, macam, do you? Because now you said, oh, it was just six months into the marriage. So I, okay, I can understand that. Mm. So you were still trying to get to know each other. But like when I watched the video, it was like a year was done. So I was like, okay, a year. But you're still questioning his loyalty and like why he had to like, mm. you know, macam like that photo apa? Yeah. Yeah. To me, really, just checking lah, huh? yeah. because uh, as a person, I tend to want to. Um, seek feedback a lot, okay. kan? And yeah. and Nani, I really want to get to know him. Mm. Like, why did you like this photo? Mm. Um, because imagine saja, he's not he's not someone young, you know, pakai jubah apa. But would you, if you see an imam yeah. liking a photo of you know, like a sexy photo, yeah, how yeah, would yeah. you? Yeah, you'd, you'd be judgmental, for right? Sure. Yeah. So and and he puts it out there, and I mm. put it out there that you know we are a Muslim, a Muslim individual practicing yeah. Muslim. Mm. Uh, Sekalinya, macam eh, like photo of, you know, macam in the modest photo. So, it's questionable. Mm. Uh, to me, it was more of wanting to also protect him, okay. kan? Because I open Instagram and I see an activity, he likes this one. So, satu is me, um, I, I... I I feel like I don't marah you. I mean, I marah you for liking that photo. But at the same time, aku macam, eh, sekarang orang nampak apa ni message-nya, macam tu. Mm. Pasal, there's also an eye to outside that we want to jaga. Okay. Mungkin individually, we have our own, you know, rupanya secretly suka melihat, you know, me, you know, guys or you. I don't know. We all yeah. have our, our sins. Yeah. Tapi nya, in a society, I would like to cover, you know, sebaik mungkin. And that's why I ask. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, I think I'm glad she she Tangu. asked me to to say this. It was proper lah. Yeah. So yeah. happy lah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I mentioned it in the video, Joa. Pasal as a person, kita ni nama mau apa yang uh, kita ni nama mau kena lakukan arah kita ni kita ni lakukan arah orang. Orang lain. Yeah. So yeah. imagine if he comes to me with accusations, I wouldn't like that. Yeah. So yeah, I should true. also come from a place where I don't accuse him. Mm. Yeah. And. Ask that question yeah. instead. Yeah. Okay. Kalau yah aku suka bini bini ni. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember what the photo was. Yeah. I actually, have it. You know, I just didn't show you until now. Yeah, I understand. Bula, like, cause sometimes, um, like liking a photo, to me, is like such a ref. It's a it's a reflex. Kind of thing. Oh, nice photo. Sometimes I don't even know what I like. Mm -hmm. You know? So much that's why I was like, okay, this is very interesting to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. yeah. And then um do, do you want to say anything? Oh yeah, Macham. Okay. Yeah, Macham, you said that kan, tapi um the fact that she doesn't like it is a reason enough for me to not do, do it, it again. again. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. to make your wife happy, lah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I said it because uh, and and I said it also in the video, but I also see, um, macam 
if I go to celebrity photos, woman photos, yang sexy yes, sexy, mm. any different celebrity photo, sometimes I see eh the same person liking all these different photos. <laughs> One, where did this person have all this time to scroll to these different photos? All these different celebrities, banyak ni I can count ten celebrities differently. Yeah, you are the same like. No, I don't want this in my husband. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, someone else can see. Activities are public on social media. Mm, and mm. what is the impression that people have? Kan? Mm. Uh, apa talagi if you're a father to a father or a mother to y- your children. Mm. And if your children sees it, macam, why is young gambar yang, you know, almost not covered at all? So, mm, mm, mm. I think it's just a point of reflection. Yeah, Dalam yeah. diam, you know, do what you do, you know, you taubat to Allah every anything. Tapi, when public sees it, you're just questionable. Yeah, so ever since then, you haven't you never liked any other photos? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the second question I wanted to ask you um, is about the checking each other's phones. Mm. Because for me, I value my privacy. And I understand when you said that there's a certain reaction if, for example, misalnya you want to check her phone and she's like, don't check it. It's like you start to get suspicious. Like, are you hiding something from me? Mm-hmm. But like, how do you balance between respecting your spouse's privacy and like not suspecting them of hiding anything? Because mm. I think that can be a thin line, right? Yeah. yeah. I think we can start off with laying like the frequency of how many times we actually yeah, <laughs> check on yeah. each other's phones. I don't remember how much I check I think I check time. yours more than you check yeah, mine, yeah. to be honest. Just putting it out there. Yeah, yeah. But every time I do it, it needs to be in his presence. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't do it at the back. Yeah. Hello, at the back one, I'll be like, I'm going to check your phone. Ah. Mm. He needs to acknowledge it. Okay. Yeah. So that's my respect yeah, yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah. The, the frequency, Rafik, I don't remember. Rafik, Ita, yeah. I said, me lagi banyak daripada you. How, how many times in a month? Contohnya? It differs. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe oh, twice a month. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Yeah. it's not a lot, lah. It's not a lot. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when that happens, usually, um, is it because it's like a a thing that you do, like to check his phone? Because you say no. you do it more than him, right? Mm. Like, mm. what what are some of the instances, like the reasons why you feel like you want to check his phone, or it just so happens you don't have your phone with you, ka, at that uh, time or what? I, that can be one reason. Yeah. Tapi not in a spot check kind of way. So I don't okay. check his phone in a spot check kind of way. Okay, Tapi okay. macam, like, when he, especially during, yang he ada, you know, your lagu leka apa, aku tu pulang macam managernya ni sebenarnya, you know, like, bila kan you post your lagu on Instagram ni, you know, people need to know. Yeah, bila yeah. kan you ko Crystal FM, bila kan you, you know, I'll yeah, be that yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I ask him to post story and I'm the person yang mau check the reaction. Oh, that's so for, sweet. Because I know he could go big lah. Yeah. Tapi, because, you know, he's laying low. Mm. So, kalau I check his IG, it's mostly that. Macam hari tu, he asked a question on his Instagram, uh, he like had a song, like, and then he asked me, like, who do you think can fit this? Ato? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, belum check resultnya. I'll be like, Mari, you know, yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. check the result, you know, people, <laughs> people, pasokan ke inda. Yeah, yeah. So that's the kind of thing with him uh, in terms of his music or video, ka, um, in terms of just showing his stuff. Yeah. I would really want to be involved. Yes. Okay. Um, but other than that, Kadang-kadang, we ask each other, like, eh, can you check my ato? So that's uh, where, like, check yeah, It's yeah. not like, um, but kadang-kadang, I do scroll his WhatsApp for, you know, randomly, randomly. Yeah, yeah. But ato pun only because, satu, we, we transfer each other stuff. So, like, macam, kadang-kadang, the video intertwine ato, the reels. Mm. Like, from, if I use his um, laptop, yeah. connected Telegram, then from him to me. Uh, so, kind of check, download. So, those are the things, the reason why we check each other's phones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if you have my Instagram or your phone. Like I do. My account. Ada, yeah. Ada. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fazan, you are the most oblivious guy ever. <laughs> I'm so glad that Sarah is in your life to manage your Exactly. Stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that got me, that got me curious. If I am, because I imagine myself to be in that situation too, where if my spouse wants to check my phone, I honestly wouldn't mind. Mm. But I need to know that it's out of like macam happenstance, mm. not macam in a way where like, because I will question her too. Like, 
do you not trust me? Like, have mm-hmm. I not portrayed myself as like a good partner mm-hmm. for you to not be able to trust me and yeah. just let me be let have let me have my privacy? Mm-hmm. You know. So it was it was a very um it sparked some kind of like macam reflection inside me lah jua, which is why like I always I, I enjoy watching your videos because yeah. and I think a lot of people like what you you're married you should try watching one of their videos too. Try. Yeah. <laughs> try like it. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it's your vibe. Chuba, try. Because <laughs> yeah, out of all of us in this room, you're the only other married couple. <laughs> you're the only other person who's married. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let us know your feedback. <laughs> yeah. Do you and your wife check each other's phones? No. Okay. okay. And like, because no. you don't care or what? I think this. Okay. Me and my wife are different. Yeah. We've known each other for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, they're high school sweethearts. Oh. Right? Wow. Yeah. Last year. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like we built up that mm-hmm. over the years. And yeah. now and stuff like that already. So no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. yeah. It's like whatever. Yeah. I think it relates a lot to who your spouse is. True. Because True. kadang-kadang, um, you know, if you married a person young, um, surrounding you, mungkin banyak mini bini and then you love this person but yeah, you married yeah. this person but you end up not fully trusting mm. the people around him then as a spouse you'll be like oh i, I should check okay okay tapi i think macam yeah like for story they're trusting each other enough to not check phones that's yeah. fine and kan then, and they're, yeah. the, uh, they're a different kind of relationship yeah too. i mean like, yeah. not all marriages punya recipe needs to check each other's phones exactly yeah but yeah. i think our point in the video is we're not hiding anything we're good if you want to check i don't yeah. think I- ever like check your phone except which um, I need to use YouTube or like ways or something mm. to say, yeah, yeah. Not you really, don't care? it's not really checking plan. it's more like can I use your phone <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's because he doesn't care he just he just like talking to Fauzan now and watching videos he's the least like much um, he's so chilled yeah yet I tell you I <laughs> Honestly, don't bother. Kalau kami berjalan ke Huawei, kah, kau super safe kah? Yeah. Aku yang melihat orang wah. Ya nada ni nada. If I'll be like, coba coba lihat orang ah. Dan macam mana? Siapa? You know, if someone drives in a car and then it's a person you know kan, I get this a lot. I got a text. I am bong yo. Something oh, like that. Like, so you that kind of guy. I don't even look at who's in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah macam tila. Yeah, you're just like in your own world. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. now if you guys see him, sekali. I don't expect him to like see me. I'm just gonna be like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> And sorry, menambah. It's okay. Ita that yeah. one time where kami one of a person, a female he used to work with. Okay. So I went to the shop. Sekali this person kerja sana. We went together, bah. Sekali the lady at the cashier I was like, hey, hey, how's that? Sekali is like, hey, sekali lepas jalan siapa kan tu? Aku pulang malu oh. untuk bini tu. Aku pulang macam, ay jahat juga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. so oh aku macam after that he's like, so siapa kan tu? I work with this. When did I work with her? Sekali <laughs> macam aku pulang ke siapa? But to be fair, that person, I don't think I interact. That with her enough for me to remember. remember. She was wearing a mask, yeah. I think. Oh, that she was wearing a mask, right? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, yeah, yeah. Itaku macam ah kalau yang sarwi bini bah on sedetan. Like I mean, not on like go meet bini bini, but that's why I feel like it's it's safe. It's yeah, okay. safe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another question, really, when it comes to relating to trust, is that um for people who are experiencing the same situation or is going through the same the same thing lah huh? where um you know having self esteem issues whether it be the husband or the wife mm-hmm. so you both can chime in on this how do you how do you make sure that you're not tailoring that relationship or that marriage to feed your not to feed but a How do you make sure you're not tailoring tailoring that relationship to your insecurity, and instead like macam because sometimes I feel like, um, just speaking in general, mm. based on my observation, there are some relationships where it doesn't matter if macam one is better looking the, than the other. Sometimes it could just be because you know of their behavior up as more. There's a lot of like macam elements that goes into when being insecure in a relationship, right? And most of the times, the other partner, whether it's the guy or the girl, they tailor that relationship 
to sort of mask their insecurity. So much they say like, oh, much I'm gonna lighting lapis So much because for me, I feel like if you can be honest and much um uh have that sort of communication and like say, okay, this is not making me feel good about myself it's okay and good to have but also how do you make sure you are also putting in the work so that you don't feel insecure and project that insecurity onto mm. your partner instead yeah so what would the advice be for the guy when your part and for the female when your part because i don't like this to be like one-sided because every person yeah. has insecurities especially like i go through insecurities too mm -hmm. yeah so whoever wants to start first Sorry, but I didn't really understand the question. Tafinya, maybe if you yeah, maybe speak if you first, then I'll, I'll get it. Yeah. But you know the type of I don't know kalada drama chani yang you know a couple yang insecure. Sekali like satu if you're insecure about your beauty, if you go to someone yang lagi pretty, I'll be like, don't hang out with this person, you know, because I'm just insecure that person is beautiful around you because I'm insecure about my own beauty. Example. Mm -hmm. So his question is, what's the advice for that? Kalau lelaki laki mungkin um, maybe your your financials na brapa, and I I have like friends yang financial nya like laki yang bisay. Mm. And you'll be like, don't you, you know? You project your insecurity onto Ont yeah, your other person. Your, mm. like, oh, yeah. like oh, for example okay, okay, also, yeah, yeah. um, when you both encounter an issue, right? And mm -hmm. then you voice it out to the other partner. That that is also good. Mm -hmm. macam, I do believe that there is a sense of responsibility for you to also do that inner work. Mm. So that much, um, next time it happens again, you know, like, you're over it. Mm. You yeah. know? Yeah. It doesn't become a recurring issue. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I start first. Yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't think of a, I can't think of a, <laughs> I start and you will continue. Okay. Uh, so, for me, the advice is, be it the female or the male, mm. really the self-journey into yourself. Because, Kadang -kadang, the reason why a person needs to seek a relationship is you want to seek validation from this other person because you can't validate yourself. Mm. So the number one issue you need to work on is yourself. Yeah. And you don't, and by, by saying that, you don't have to be this complete person who has, you know, your insecurity in the ada. You still have your insecurities, but you acknowledge your insecurity. Mm. You know how to work on it when it arises, and then you know how to communicate it. Yeah, so... You you are in a phase where you know yourself well mm -hmm. that you can carry yourself um, as you go out into you know society. Mm -hmm. So ita sometimes I see there's you know there's type of people young after one relationship move to another relationship move to another relationship mm -hmm. because suddenly betukarti lagi betukarti lagi and then you need to seek the same thing from this person to give you that validation that you. Oh. You need this person. You belong yeah, yeah. only because this person will be lonely. Kalaya sama dirinya sendiri. Mm. So, for me, the advice is to this: you know, whoever the husband or the wife or you know the female, the male, have you worked on yourself enough for you to be self-aware of what you're lacking, what you need to improve on? Mm -hmm. And once you find your other half, ane, that's why you complement each other. Mm. Because if in that, that's where the gaslighting comes. Yeah. Because you tend to run away from your own problems. Tapi orang lain punya problem, you'll be like, uh, kau ber issue, kau ber issue. Tapi you don't want to acknowledge your own issues. Yeah. So yeah. really work on yourself lah. So that's my take on it. Yeah, any addition? I'm honestly blank. I... Question. <laughs> <laughs> For a rapper, he said loss of words. <laughs> choke, choke. No, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's just yeah, you don't think about these things and you don't go through it. So it's yeah, it's a, it's okay. have the experience yeah. he, or yep, the knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> punya positive thing of orang lain is here. Yeah. Like, no, which is amazing. Amazing, though. right? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Like for me, I, I will have like, like for people like, like us, we're the ones saying overthinkers. Oh. Like yeah. Sekali like if I say something and then he will think of the Positive thing about this other person. Oh, mungkin yeah. ni, mungkin yeah. ni. Mm. Ini dapat continue my gossip here. <laughs> but where did this all like macam? It, do you get this from your parents? You feel like macam you like because you said you and your siblings are very different, and you're the eldest. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So would you say you are more similar to your parents compared to like your siblings? Mm. In terms of like macam your religious beliefs and like how you handle things. Yeah, maybe 
I'm more similar to my father than my other siblings. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, because uh, my father used to you know be in musabaka. Quran kali. Uh, used to what? Uh, in Quran recitation, okay. um, competition inter. Kementerian, I think, and he won like first place, kile, oh. at at that time lah. So, in terms of recitation, I kind of have that from my father. Hmm. In terms of personality, have you always been this chilled? Uh, I think it's something that I built up, kile, because uh, I learned that when someone, when when another person does something bad, gun, you have to think about ninety nine, ka, ninety nine or seventy reasons why he may have done 17? that mm. so think about that so if you haven't gone through that number to artinya macam okay maybe you're thinking too negatively of that person lah mm-hmm. yeah contohnya like for example like a person is rushing kan in a car laju ya kita so macam you want to curse at the guy or something the thing macam you think think about okay maybe he's rushing because he needs to go to the loo or yeah. like he really hasn't urgent thing life and death situation that he has to go through yeah so that's yeah. the thought the kind of thinking that you apply to every aspect like when the person is most not aspect kind. I guess yeah yeah and then macam you doakan lah seven okay walaupun you marah you macam okay mudah-mudahan kena murahkan rezeki mula instead of cursing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. from an observer point of view mm. I really think his family is great Okay. So for me, yeah. coming into his family was the greatest blessing mm-hmm. that I can have. Pasal, macam in my family, kami jarang share. Like told you, dinner pun kita makan sama-sama. Yeah, yeah. When I came to his family, dinner sama-sama. Yeah. And his siblings kan, no matter what age they are, he's the oldest and he told you his age kan. They're just able to share what went through their day-to-day at work with who they go to. Sekali aku duduk macam tu, aku wow, what an environment. Wow. What a place to be in! Yeah, like they can just share. Oh, tadi I went here, I went there, even without being asked. Cham, you just sit, makan, and then each of them just kind of share th- their yeah. days. Yeah. And it's a very open environment, yeah. and their parents allowed that, ba. And even, my cham, mamanya pun bertanya soalan, mm. bapanya pun bertanya soalan. Yeah. Sekali aku cakap, wow. So I think they've built that enough. So for them, they have a safe space. Wow. At home, yeah, yeah, yeah. So even me, when I come to his family, that's also a safe space. Mm. Like I can also share what I did. I did this. Like, I'm bangang ko milia toh. Yeah, you yeah. know, I'm similar to you in that sense. Can? I wouldn't be like, because when we have family dinners, I'm quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> kejarangan wah, kejarangan. Yeah. And ani, they're openly sharing. Napa hindi tanya? They just said, oh, tadi kan, you know, yeah. when the thought came into their head, they, they can just, just they just say it. Yeah. And the whole family. Mm. So. Yeah, so it's really I feel like oh, this is a good family. I'm not saying my family is bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean like, macam mm-hmm. it's it's just the family dynamics. Yes. Some families are macam more comfortable with each other than it doesn't mean that kalau like our family One is, is better yeah, than the other. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. That's I guess why that explains a little right? bit. Right. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't realize it. Tapi me as an outsider, yeah. kucha wow. Oh. oh wow. One last question. Uh, this is individual answers, mm-hmm. all right. So, what is one thing for Fauzan? What is one thing that you wish Sarah would know? One thing that I wish Sarah would know about herself that you see that she might not see. Wow. Yeah. Is this question just for me? I'm I'm gonna ask her the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Am I going first? You're going first. Oh, the man. pressure's on you now. So Sarah has time to think. So for Sarah, it would be what is one thing you wish Fauzan would know uh, that he doesn't know? I can't think. He's. I'm gonna listen to his answer. <laughs> oh man, I need like an hour to think about what to say. <laughs> uh. We have all the time. Come, we are not parang arang. Pressure was on thousand. Oh god. Okay, yeah. apa? Oh, okay, so maybe just anything that I do lah. Yeah. Comes in my head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think should know that I love you. Yeah. Should know that I am happy and very grateful that I've married you. And uh, we are on this journey together, lah. Alhamdulillah. So 
Yeah, I wish that you know that I appreciate you. So yeah, and I enjoy the funny little moments that we have as husbands and wife. And I think after so keep going. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I wish much. Um, and I know that after getting married, I've become a better person. Because we always need someone, you know, to see us from the outside. So things that I don't realize, Jam, you tell me. Okay? And then I improve as a person. And you've been the foundation for me to become the best version of myself. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, hopefully, kita niyati lah. You know, like this might be cringe lang yeah. That the friend like we no like go to Jenna together. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. yeah. I mean, that's that's that's, a, that's the goal. I actually, mean it. Yeah, it's cringe, but. Yeah. It's it's real, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah probably there's a lot more. Tapi... Well, then that's about the sweetest thing that came out of you. Oh really? Today, ever, <laughs> ever, oh ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Selama ni kan kan he raps kan or he writes songs. Yeah. I I've been asking like for five time, eh five years sudah. When are you gonna write a song about me? Belum ada, belum ada sampai masa ni. <laughs> to be honest, macam the type of husband I am kalle. I kind of hold myself back from being too romantic. Kali, not a romantic person. Tapi macam sometimes I know what to actually do, mm. but I don't do it. So yeah. like, okay, that's too romantic for me. Ego lah, kali ya. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's probably my ego lah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tapi yeah, I mean, your romantic. I you don't have to be that romantic. Like rose apa? For me, yeah. kan bunga tu. Nukuda pak jaga tu. Mm. Yeah, bayaku bunga pun the sweet. It's just gonna die anyway. Mm. So not buying flowers again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys believe in love languages? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's good enough oh, for yeah. him to understand what your love language is and what and vice versa. Both our love language is quality time. Okay. Best thing to have the same love language. Yeah. 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 Gifts apa macam na? Yeah, yeah. Gifts is yeah, yeah. reassurance is. Yeah. <laughs> Doa is a gift. <laughs> But yeah, quality time. That's why we really, you know. Watch Ghibli movies together and just oh, like yeah, yeah. Ngombra bista. Okay, Sarah, it's your turn now. What's the question again? Yeah. Uh, no. Um, what yeah. is the one thing that you wish Fazan would know that he doesn't know, or you assume he doesn't know, lah? Oh no. It seems like Fazan doesn't know a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I've trained myself to not cry, so should be okay, Glen. <laughs> Ali. <laughs> Yeah, I'll start with um Alhamdulillah I am really grateful to Allah that he made us spouses in this life and I also pray that it'll be to jannah lah to the next life as well in the highest level of jannah at that and thank you for being my rock lah so I think As a person individually, I can be really pamara. I also can be very temperamental, actually. But when he came into my life, he gave me the right guidance for me to really be macam cool. That's why I say he's my rock. Mm -hmm. So with macam anything, if I were just to you know go home and rant about my day, he'll be the ice. You know, he'll give me the ice I need, and then for me to refresh myself and. Thank you for not giving up on me. Uh, maybe I haven't been a good wife to you, but really, you, your patience shines through in our marriage. And honestly, I'm still bangang how you are able to survive me. But I hope and I pray that you'll still survive me until the end of our life, lah. And you know, the one thing I fear is actually that I love you more than I love Allah. That's the scariest thing, because honestly, macam that's the struggle that I think we face. Sometimes we can just, I'm afraid to love you more than I love Allah, and I feel like the more we are together, sometimes I feel like okay, I still need to re, you know, regain my connection back to Allah, and I don't want to lose that because if I lose that, I will lose you too. So I hope that in itself is my guidance, my pillar that I retain my connection with Allah. And through my doa, through my usaha as well, 
that's how we can be a good a good married couple as well lah. yeah and, and and i'm just gonna say it here um i don't know when allah will give us the rizki of having children tapi i believe in allah's plan and when we are ready we will be ready i believe you'll be a great father to our children Inshallah. you are a great mother too yes Inshallah. don't forget that yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for that wonderful speech. Yeah. yeah okay. Thank you. Thank you so much both for opening up so much today. And I want to apologize if I hit any or push any buttons or cross the line. And I really appreciate what, we, what you've shared today. And I do hope to continuously see you both, you know, creating beautiful meaningful content actually that could be beneficial for everybody mm. like for me like i said just now from an outsider who doesn't live this life you've caught my attention and who knows that maybe one day i could be living a life like yours too mm. so you've inspired inspired countless people so just know that you both are a blessing for each other like equals you both are equals no matter how 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 much you see each other as mm. And congrats, congratulations on five years. Hopefully, five hundred more years to go. I mean, yeah, infinity, infinity, infinity and beyond. Yeah, infinity and beyond. And inshallah, yes, like you said, we're all praying for you. If the time is right, Rizikiada, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, and we pray for you and all the people here yeah. who's yet to be married. The inshallah, you know, believe in Allah's timings. Uh, and also your own usaha as well, lah. Then say, "Cham ok tunggu lah, wala gila." <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. really work on yourself. We're not all lucky like you for for <laughs> someone to wanna ask. Like what? Cham <laughs> tunggu saja sudah kamu kan lamar orang sekali. Ada ti orang tu, cham. I like you. I like you. Like yeah. <laughs> where did you come from? Yeah, and yeah. and to Fuad as well. You know, one year into marriage, um, definitely may Allah grant you a marriage that's you know full of bliss Amin. and Amin. and apa ni? Yeah, make happy moments with your wife and, you know, make everyone else happy through that as well. Yeah. I love you both so much. I'm so happy that I got to speak with you today. We're happy to be here. We're happy to be here. <laughs> oh my God, really, really happy. Yeah. Okay, that's all we have today. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you so around. much, Izzy. Thank you. Oh my God, guys.